You're listening to The Bedroom Project. I'm your host, Ray. And I'm your host, Tima. Join us in our studio. As we dive into the latest news. Talk about life. And whatever's going on in our world today. My mic is not micing. I can hear you loud and clear. I'm talking about my, I'm in my camera. My camera's not camera in. My camera's not camera in either. But. I look great, guys. <laughs> I don't know about you. Yeah, I look really great. <laughs> so no more. Oh yeah, I'm recording by the way. Oh, we're rolling sorry. like right now. Yeah, yeah. That's what Dude, I do. I don't tell T. I don't tell T. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> why is your mic so muffly? That's what I was saying. It's distorting. It's too loud. That's what I was saying. Your which which mic? Like, she is one. One. I was saying that it sounds funny. Well, I'm distortion, guys. Ear. Distortion. See, when it gets past a certain t- point, the wavelength clips. Mm. We missed the music was over mm. here. Get it. I, it's quite cool. I said wavelength. It's I meant waveform. That's <laughs> cool for me, guys. <laughs> And it oh yeah, it's uh, still it's still doing that now. Or maybe you just don't be so close to the mic. Uh, okay, I'll move here. See how you said that? That was shady. I, was <laughs> I know, that's what I'm saying. Said, oh, well, maybe just. You know. That's what you that, did. No, but that's, you know, that's I was just saying it in that kind of way, though. That's why he talks to me on a real t- on, a, on a daily, so I'm used to it. Like, yo, I know, I know, Ray's a little sideways, but that's you know that, that's how Ray that's is. That's that so white woman when they hit that this one. Microaggression. Hit him with the side eye. Lord. I get no. I know how Ray is. I know how he talks to me. So whatever. <laughs> He's fucking rude. Love you. Love. Anyways, welcome back to the Bedroom Project. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, what's yeah. it? Season two, two episode, episode two. two. Come on. <laughs> um, we if back. you didn't already know, we've been screaming Bedroom Project. Um, for the past like two weeks, yeah. trying to get you man to listen to it. Yeah. Um, to the new season, obviously, because we're here last we're week. Back and we're we had um Stara from the, the fucking anything show. The anything show. Um, so go check that out if you haven't already. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm Ray. And I'm Tima. And we're with my nigga, Toby the Freak. Woo! Um, so <laughs> he. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, if you don't know this guy, then get to know. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, he makes music and shit. He's got an EP coming out right now. He has an album out, album out on Spotify. Yes, anyway. sir. Oh, 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 sorry. Wait, what's the, what's the actual difference between the oh, album I love and it. Okay, so the difference is that EP is short. Oh, okay. Actual, yeah. So when you, oh, like, actually, you take yeah. it, you take EP's it back, like five, six songs. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. so like when they were printing albums on vinyl, you obviously have oh. an LP yeah. or a double LP, which is like a full length album, and mm-hmm. an EP, which is like small, just a couple songs. Oh, uh, so, okay. But I mean, in today's day and age, obviously you can release music however you want, however yeah. many songs you want. So mm-hmm. like, I feel like different formats of collection of songs mean different things. Mm-hmm. So like a mixtape, you know, it's a like it's the length of an album, but it's a mixtape because it's mm-hmm. like yeah. you're rapping with other people's mm-hmm. beats and you're doing freestyles and it's just a collection of songs. Right, I feel right, like right. an EP, if you're calling an album a novel, an EP is like an anthology of short stories. Okay, That's yeah, how yeah, yeah. Mr. Music Wiz. Because like the music album lover. is like the album is like a whole story, yeah, but like the exactly. EP is just like different stuff. Exactly. Right. <laughs> I get you. The Toby over here with the music knowledge. Mm-hmm. Tell him what you do. What instruments do you like, play? Yeah, int- uh, oh wait, actually, before before we even get into that, um, I want to mention. Uh, shout out to my bro um, O'Brien. Follow him at mm-hmm. O underscore Paint on Instagram. He did the cover art for our new season um, for the new uh, bedroom project. The whatever. Couch, the couch one. Yeah, the couch mm-hmm. picture. Yeah, so he so did that. Far. My bro did so that. He's very talented. So yeah, shout out to him. Um, and also, um, we said this in the last episode, but everyone's like, okay, so you're called the bedroom project. What bedroom? This is this is not a bedroom. Um, we were in a bedroom and the name just stuck. But sometimes you might catch us in a bedroom. doing one, two episodes. Mm-hmm. This camera is just so wobbly right now. I don't even understand. But you might catch us in a bedroom on other episodes. So, yeah, check mm-hmm. that out. Um, I thought yeah. the name bedroom project as well. Thank you. Sarah. Thank you. So introduce yourself, like, where yeah. are you from, what do you do? So, my name's Toby, Toby the Freak, whatever one you want to do. Um, I'm from Nigeria, but, like... Yes, sir. But I'm from Croydon. But okay. I kind of grew up between Lagos and, and Croydon. Like, mm-hmm. I lived a couple of years out there, my parents still live out there. Mm-hmm. Um, I make music. Repping like Nige. Name. Yeah, facts, facts, facts. Yo, you know, Niger boys. What tribe are you from, bro? I'm, Euro- I'm half, okay. Let them know. I'm half Yoruba, half Edo. Or more Yoruba. City. 
Everybody, not everybody's gonna know what what that means. If, if, you, know, you, know. if you know, you know. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Toby, everybody. Knows. Once you heard Toby, you know it's a Yoruba boys. <laughs> you get it. That's all you need to really say about that. But um, yeah, I make music. That's like my main thing. I mean, I, I want to do other things, you know, like film, fashion, all that. Um, but yeah, I make music. Uh, Spotify, SoundCloud, Apple Music, mm. anywhere where you get your music. I be Napster. You get it. Plug uh, your shit. Plug your shit, my nigga. SoundCloud. Mm-hmm. You said yeah, that right. Said that one. Um, Amazon Music. If that's what you're into, you, yeah, get me. you can I'm find there. me there. I'm, I'm there. Everywhere. <laughs> anywhere you want me to find anywhere. me. Try, we're trying to be like apps. you, bro. Literally. We're trying to be like you. you. Apple thank you, thank you, music. you we need to be hard. versatile it's like you. Hard. But yeah, um, Toby the Freak, all caps. Uh, what kind of music do I make? I make like somewhere between alternative music and R&B, I guess. Mm. That's the best way to describe it. How oh, unprofessional. <laughs> 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 really mistake how are you so getting sorry. your how are you getting a phone call when you're at work I'm sorry take it like a job I'm but, gonna um, turn my phone off and say or I'll have you at the door but yeah that's 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 me I, I mean, you asked me what instruments I play I play the guitar and the drums and the piano a little bit and my, you know I can mm. play the bass but I'm a guitarist playing the bass when he needs a bass player he, he, he just shouts <laughs> he me he needs a ticket <laughs> <laughs> when he needs a bass player exactly, exactly nah I'm literally I'm even doing cause he's got like a thing you have an assignment yeah, and he needs a bass player for that. So I have to um, record like a cover of any song. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna do uh, a song called uh, "Show Me How" by Men I Trust. Men I Trust. Big I was about shoes. to say everything but the girl. I don't know why. Everything of the girl. The, that's. So, <laughs> I was about to say. That every- is so crazy. <laughs> that band is so crazy. We, that, to, we studied them in my A level for music. Mm-hmm. Is it? Literally, yeah. That's crazy. I don't know why I was about to say everything but the girl. They I have think a song, I think it's called Missing You. They have another song. I don't um, know about anything about the girl. It's an old like band British band. group from the from the eighties or something. Oh, okay. nah, a little bit but earlier than that, like nineties. The nineties. So one a girl and a boy producer. And you mean later? What did I say? You said uh, earlier. Oh my bad. Yeah, it's a producer mm-hmm. singer duo. Mm. Some girl and some guy, and yeah, they just like. So it's not really everything but the girl. It's, it's everything not. but the girl and the guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's shit, that's the name, isn't it? It's crazy that Men I Trust was called Men I Trust before the girl joined the band. Lol. Uh, <laughs> what just, does that even... It was literally just men, and they were called Men I Trust. That's the fucking girl weird. I thought it was because like, she that's trusted the men. Oh, yeah. 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 You know what I mean? She's the only girl. Am I distorted or am I... Is that me being distorted? So who you trust him? Like, I'll just move a little bit further back. Okay. Yeah, let me move it down. Maybe don't bit. stand so close to one. You dig? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> now, nah, because sometimes the mic... I don't know what's going on today, but I'm just mad distorted. Um, yeah. And I'm usually like this even, close to the mic. Even when I was... I'm like here, so it sounds a bit distorted. So I'm mm. just a bit back. A bit further back. Does it sound okay? Maybe we do some stylistic shit, just record the whole thing distorted. Fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. It's part yeah, of... Yeah, literally, it's <laughs> aesthetic. <laughs> that's the, nah, that's the, way, that's the way you fucking... Um, Adjust to your situation, yeah, adapt you to your away. situation. Mm-hmm. You, you, start, you dig. Yeah, you know the most, the most creative, um, the most out there shit just happens on accident. Mm-hmm. Right? On like, accident, it wasn't on purpose. It wasn't planned. Now we're about to start geeking about music. You ever heard the song uh, "I Can Feel It in the Air Tonight" by Phil Collins? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you yeah. know how the drums sound kind of crazy, like they're big as fuck. So that was a mistake. They didn't. The drums, uh, they left the talkback mic on, so the mic that the engineers used to talk to the musicians, mm-hmm. they left it on during recording, and yeah. so the snare hits were going through the talkback mic and like basically going through there, and they're like, I can't just explain all the like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got what you mean. It's gonna long it out, but anyway, that that they left it on by mistake, and they're like, that shit is hard, and then they rewired their whole desk just so they could just get so they could sound. get that sound again. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then it literally changed the eighties. Crazy. Oh, wow. Crazy. I can feel it. That's a generational song, bro. That is a generational song. song. That guy did the score for Tarzan too, Ale. Phil Collins. Yeah, bro. He did the music for Tarzan. That is so. In like, if you even if you listen to them, if you rewatch Tarzan, if you go into tonight tonight and watch Tarzan, you it's just him singing, (laughs) and it's funny. (laughs) (laughs) It's funny because there's there's an advert um of like. It's like a Cadbury advert or something, and it's a gorilla playing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. I remember that. I, I actually remember that ad really then, vividly. In Tarzan, everybody's a gorilla. Like, there's gorillas everywhere in Tarzan. That's crazy. All the characters mm. are gorillas. That's but I don't know. Crazy. I just You're made that link. Making the link. Yeah, you're just making the link now. I'm, yeah, I hear literally, you. I'm just making the link now. <laughs> I hear you. What's your favorite like Disney film or like animated? Ooh. But like when I say animated, it can't just be. It, can't, it has to be animated like some animated like, like cards, like drawn with, with a song. Nah, nah, like the musical animation, like the 
Disney film type beat. Like, you can't choose, like, fucking... Like, I don't know. Some, like, Rick and Morty type beat. I'm, try- I'm, okay. talking, I'm talking about, like, childhood yeah, animation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. 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 Kind of like Jungle Book was... Do you know what live. I mean? Do you know what you know I mean? Jungle Book was live. Do you know what I mean? That film is so crazy. I watched it like a couple of days ago. Really? I, I need to I need to rewatch so it still. Like when I was younger, I used to have the um the, the tape, the what do the you call it? Yeah, the like cassette. The VHS, yeah, the VHS, VHS really thing. Really and I remember I used to watch that. I used to watch all Lion King, of course. That's yeah, standard. It's, it's, but it's just making Lion King, though. yeah. I had that I had all of them videos on the I had time. all them films on VHS. Mm-hmm. So I was just watching them. Even like mm, I know. Oh, what do you think? What about you, Ray? Me. Yeah. My favorite Disney film is Lilo and Stitch. Real. I'll be real. My favorite Disney film is Lilo nice. and Stitch. That's a hard choice. I love Lilo. I love Lilo and Stitch. I, don't, I can't lie. That wasn't really my favorite. But that's maybe edgy. because that's alternative. Ain't nobody. Fair enough. Like, you know what? This is this is what I like, and this is what I like. I don't care what anyone else thinks. Lilo and Stitch is dope. Lilo and Stitch is so dope. Jungle okay. Book's my favorite by far, bro. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Jungle Book. Jungle, Jungle Book. Jungle Book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. real talk, firstly and foremost. Well, you can cut this out. Yeah, the part that's about to play is an outtake that I decided to keep in. So if it sounds a bit disconnected from the conversation, then that's why. Do that. <laughs> that Siri saved my life a little a couple times. Siri. Because I'd be like, Siri, remind me at ten in the morning to. Siri's my best friend. I can't lie. I don't really use Siri, you know. Siri be, hey Siri, what's I Maybe I should start using Siri. <laughs> Suck, you know. It's hard, like the fact I could just tell it. Do something, yeah, you know, it's decent, something, yeah. Crazy technology is uh, wild. I got Siri to call me master, so whenever I'm, I'm like, hey Siri's like. That's a narcissistic shit. <laughs> and, you know, I always say, yeah, uh, Ray's a narcissist. No one ever listens to me. This is this is I, I'm saying. My Siri, speaking out. Talk, my Siri calls me Big Daddy Forty Seven. That's even not. That's even. I think it's Nigerian men. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are all narcissists Where are you from? and demons. I'm Jamaican. Okay. You guys are all narcissists and demons. Like. I would. I thought you were Af, you know. Yeah. If I, guess, I am a. You know what? I would. I would have guessed Zim. That's. I've never really. I've heard Zim like twice. I always get Ghanaian or Nigerian. I hear Ghanaian, and mm-hmm. I was gonna say Nigerian, but then you said that thing about Nigerian men. Oh yeah. So then of course I'm not Nigerian. Okay. Cool. I hear that. Nah, no, Nigerian like men are, are, are questionable out. sometimes. Nah, I am Af though, in the heart. Okay, yeah. in, in spirit. In spirit. I don't know why. I really am though. How did you even say I'm like, Pan-African. Bro, everybody be thinking I'm Jamaican because I have dreads. It's so <laughs> long. Like, like, yeah. Oh, I thought you were, I I thought you. You were Jamaican. You're Af, that's crazy. You don't look Nigerian at all. I get Jamaican every single time. Mm, because of the looks. Yeah. So now it's interesting. <laughs> Just because of the locks, fair enough. I don't know. I don't. If I see locks, I don't automatically think Jamaican. I don't think piece of because someone said it's not to fix just the lights, the right? Quick. I look Jamaican in the face. Yeah, I thought you were like East African though. What? Why? Like Tanzanian, because you kind of look like our friend Tyrese from oh, Bristol. Shit. I said this. I said this to Ray. I was like, oh, you kind of look like our friend. So, bro, we got like a couple questions for you. Okay. okay. Um, just you know some questions that I think will cater to your. <laughs> character okay. yeah um so you know start from the basics yeah. where did your love for music start like how did you get into <laughs> music you know making music question. having a love for it and all right so music's been around like my life like a lot like obviously growing up you know there's always music playing mm-hmm. i actually this is really funny that you asked this because the other day i was thinking about it because i was having a conversation with someone and I, like basically every day going to school the same radio station we playing Magic one hundred five point four. I don't know if they <laughs> have it. Five point point four. I don't know if they have it outside of London. I don't know if it yeah, made it. To I've never heard it before. Know. But I remember it was much because the jingle, bro. Magic the 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 one hundred five point four. I don't Every even time, know that. Bro. And I don't all even they would play that. is like Phil Collins, mm-hmm. like. Uh, like eighties bangers basically, okay. that, like pop mm. rock in like um uh, rock ballads from the eighties. Mm-hmm. Love George Michael, and I feel like that's kind of what I grew up on. But yeah. I didn't really clock that I yeah, grew up on that until yeah, really yeah, recently. Yeah. But yeah, I was listening to a lot of that as a kid, just because like it was on the radio. Yeah. Um, my parents too, they were playing that kind of stuff, and then I have older siblings. Mm-hmm. Um, so they were obviously playing like the yeah. more popular music. So like, influencing you know what I'm saying? me, the Usher, Chris Brown. Yeah. Like, it's all of that growing up, like old R and B. What about Marian. Fella? What about Fe- Fella? You know what? Not growing up, like Fella was something I came into later, much later in life. Mm. I never, mm. grew- even when I moved, was living in Nigeria, like 
Fella wasn't really. He doesn't get played like in the way that you think he would. Yeah, because of how. Is. Yeah, because of how iconic because, he is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But like he's like I, I knew he was, but I wasn't listening to his music until like I really started listening. Yeah, to and you had to research and go G- like for G- yourself yeah. and find it. I get what you mean. But then um, I started playing piano when I was real young, but I n- I didn't take it seriously mm-hmm. and like I I didn't really fuck with it like. Mm-hmm. And then um, and then I started playing guitar. And that's when I was like, okay, this is kind of cool. And that was when I was like year six, year seven. Mm-hmm. And then I re- started listening to like music by myself. Like, this is when I like got like realized you could like pirate music. Yeah. Because this is before like sound, uh, Spotify was really Spotify in the way it is now. Like it was niggas had it, but n- niggas yeah. didn't really have it. It was more streaming. of a, a two bitty, two yeah. bitty. Wait, what, 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 what year was you talking about? Like yeah. I'm talking about when we, when you, because you're here above me, right? Yeah. yeah. So when you would have been like year eight year oh seven. yeah 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 like okay, cool. certain guys had spotify but mm-hmm. it wasn't bait yeah like, you had, you had it yeah it wasn't like, the same i think i knew about I think, spotify i think like, i had spotify i knew no, about I spotify have, I from i think they used to use it at my school mm. or something like that so i just kind of i knew like time ago like primary school oh shit yeah so Got i just it. kind of <laughs> I knew about Spotify for a minute, and I didn't. I didn't know that it wasn't. It was like a low key thing. Yeah. I didn't uh, know it was like a low key thing. I knew about Spotify like yeah eight maybe. Yeah eight was when I really knew. Like mm-hmm. yeah eight was when I like we started downloading Spotify onto the school like computers. Computers. And yeah. You know, like back then, Spotify computer was pretty much Spotify premium. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like you got like pretty yeah, much. Yeah, you got most of the, You could like yeah. skip as many songs as you yeah. wanted. You could make your own playlists and shit. Mm-hmm. But before that, because I went, to, I went to boarding school. So oh, shit. Okay. we was like downloading, we were like uh, pirating songs like mm. MP3 converters and shit. Mm-hmm. All that. Yeah. And I was just listening to like trap music, bro. So like, uh, like, like Yachty, Future, yeah, Easy, yeah. Mm-hmm. Early Carti, um, Thug, mm-hmm. Ray Shrummard, bro. Oh. Ray, Ray Shrummard! <laughs> bro, like that, that stuff is what like got Same. me, that's what got me into music. Mm-hmm. That's when I was like, okay, I want. That was when I deep. So I was like, I want to produce. Yeah, okay. And I was like, yeah. this is sick. I mm-hmm. want to. I want to be behind this. Mm-hmm. I want to be the nigga that's like that beat. Cause, Cause that, that that was so big that that type of music, that trap yeah. music, was so big. Like that real SoundCloud era of trap. Mm-hmm. That was crazy. Cause that, again, that was also when I just got SoundCloud, and like it was again, it was free music. So mm-hmm. I was listening to so much shit. Yeah. And then also, Chance Coloring Book is like the first album Chance I ever rapper. listened to. Yeah. Colin Brooks is like the first album I ever listened to. No, I was a Chance the Rapper. Rapper. I was a Chance the Rapper kid. I haven't kid. really been... I was a Chance the Rapper <laughs> kid, I never really Chance been into Chance the Rapper like that, I'm sorry. Chance the Rapper, Childish Gambino, those two. Like, have you heard the West guys? <laughs> yes. The yes, West yes, guys yes, is yes, probably... Yes, yes, uh, it's yes, the, yes. the best song is. on 3005. Listen to that. Childish Gambino is 2005. Ray, Ray is like a huge, <laughs> huge <laughs> Char- Gambino fan. And I feel like he put me onto Gambino, to be honest. Cause I put ev- like every, <laughs> everybody that I know I, that I actually listens listen listen to Childish Gambino. It's because of you. <laughs> <laughs> because of I don't like, listen to old like, Gambino. His biggest fan. Like, mm. like, 3005, as in the actual song. Yeah. Yeah. That was like big, obviously. Mm-hmm. And then Bonfire, which was off the album before that, right? Yeah. yeah, and I feel like that 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 song kind of blew up because of like TikToks and memes and shit. Like yeah, that. it was yeah. it was a kind of meme song, but I, I don't know. I just heard it a couple of times. But Bye. really, what got me into Childish Gambino as like an artist was like uh, "Awaken My Love." That album. Oh, oh boy, yeah, yeah, "Awaken yeah, yeah. My Love." That changed a lot for me. That's "Awaken My Love." Mm-hmm. Crazy album. Crazy. Fucking album. me and your mama. Facts. <laughs> that song is insane. I that think. Song. Shout out to um Josh Brown if you're listening to this. Uh, we played so my boy Josh. He plays the drums, and we played um, Baby Boy in front of our school. So I was on the bass <laughs> doing the bass line, and he yeah, was, you know, he was just freestyling on the drums. I was just doing the bass line, but it was fire, mm. regardless. That's hard. Hard, hard, hard. hard. Is he yeah. light skin? <coughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can tell by his name. That's what? a light skin. Josh Brown. But Josh, Josh Brown isn't is even light skin. He's just light skin. He's just not like mixed anything. He's not like mixed anything. He's, he's like not even mixed. mixed. He's a light skin. He's, he's light skin. skin. <laughs> I know he has to be light in complexion. Like, you got Josh bro. Brown. Josh Brown. Ooh. I already know. Um, I hear that. But yeah, like, trap music's what got me into music. Um, mm. And then, yeah, that's what made me think I wanted to be a producer. But I didn't actually start producing until, like, a lot later. So then I basically, I started, I was still playing a lot of guitar. I took a little break, but I was still playing a lot mm-hmm. guitar. Then I, I was still playing drums, or I started playing drums, taught myself. And then I went back to piano. But you took yourself? Myself. Yeah. Hard, hard, hard. And then around, like, literally, in fact, I remember 
it was December of 2021, going into 2022. I had a conversation with my parents where I told them I didn't want to go to Cambridge. That's one of that's one <laughs> question that I have for you. Yeah, the next we question. have a question about that actually. Yeah. yeah um, um, so we, we just we should let them carry on talking. Yeah, yeah okay. Keep talking, keep talking. Yeah, keep talking, yeah they talking. basically had a conversation about what I want to study and what I want to do, mm-hmm. and I basically told them I don't want to go to Cambridge anymore. I don't want to study natural sciences. I want to study chemistry, which is still a science, mm-hmm. but natural science is like chemistry and physics together, and mm-hmm. the course only exists to like high top high. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was like, I want to study chemistry at Manchester mm-hmm. because Manchester is super black, and I felt like I'd be in the scene. A bit more. And yeah. mm. I felt like you'd I'd be have more comfortable the as well. I'd need yeah. Because my plan was do the whole uni thing, mm-hmm. and then after that pursue music. Yeah. And then my parents were like, if <clears> after some back and forth, they were like, if you're gonna do that, just study music. Mm-hmm. And so then. After that, pretty much, like, that was December. The year changed. We went into 2021. January 2021, I started making a beat a day. And wow. that's how, literally, yeah. that's how mm-hmm. it started. Listen, people, you know, working on your craft and, you know, Spark. actually doing yeah. it is yeah. how you improve mm-hmm. and how you get better. Facts. Um, I've been, li- I think, I don't know if I said this on the last episode and I'm just sounding like a broken record, but Pharrell, I love that nigga. Oh, my Lord. Um, he's so always much. talking about, like, you know, doing like the the more time you spend, the more time you use <coughs> practicing what you're doing is how you're gonna get better. The time you don't spend creating, what happened? <laughs> 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 you tried to use the cough button to cough in it. Um, but the the, the monitor in front of her is not the monitor. Yeah, it's like oh, um, moved so around. She, so you just coughed into it. <laughs> I just coughed into it. <laughs> <laughs> I just coughed into it. I was like, oh, oh shit. Oh. So <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. But yeah, nah, um, the time you don't spend um, oh. working on being creative is, you know, time wasted. It so. is time wasted. You have to uh, work you on dig. your craft and work on self growth. Um, have to think about your future. Like, yeah, you're 19, but you have to think about the future 100%. Mm. Um, but no, interestingly enough, the next question was um, what? Are your, yeah, are your parents supportive? Were your parents supportive of yeah. you? Obviously, because you're Nigerian, mm-hmm. um, and that that just tends to be the stereotype. Yeah. But um, you have to be a doctor. You have to do exactly, this. Exactly. Yeah. So, growing up, I remember real young when before I got into music. I think again, the reason one of the reasons I wanted to produce is because mm-hmm. what drew me into music was the beats and the like the yeah. actual music. So, and I think that's because I I used to dance as a kid, like, mm-hmm. and so I wanted to be a dancer when I was young. And my parents were like, nah, "What type of dance?" Know, like street dance okay, yeah, yeah, pop, okay, yeah, yeah. and they were like um no you they don't make money and i knew i was too rich <laughs> just straight off they just yeah, kept it a buck they kept it a buck you don't want to do that you don't want to do that i was like i want to be rich so i you know i did the, I was, you know the whole architecture mm-hmm. thing was cool to me for a bit all this all that and then like growing up you know you start to realize what you're good and bad at and I'm, I'm not amazing, but I'm, like, you know, pretty good at, like, sciences and maths and shit. So that was, like, I was, like, I'd rather do this than mm-hmm. write some essays. Mm-hmm. So I was, like, cool. And I, the idea to, so I was, like, yeah, I want to do maths. Or I want to do, like, physics or chemistry or something at uni. And then I saw this course, Natural Sciences, at Cambridge. And I was, like, I mean, going to Cambridge would be cool just to say, like, I Yeah, to I go to Cambridge, and, like, yeah. want some shit. And I thought, like... I can then pursue music and always know I have a fullback because, mm-hmm. like, no matter what, everyone's you gonna went to Cambridge. Went to Cambridge. <laughs> mm. So that was my idea. I came to my parents. I was like, "Listen, I want to go to Cambridge to study natural sciences." And I feel like looking back, that probably wasn't the best thing to do because that implanted. Do you know what I'm yeah. saying? Because especially because it came from <laughs> they're me. They're like, "Oh my gosh, Cambridge! Like, oh, yeah, they're gay. gassing you. Exactly. They're like, yeah, this yeah. is the way you're going." Exactly. When when they heard that Cambridge, they were like, <laughs> "The money's <laughs> coming." It was sweet <laughs> them. That Cambridge was tantalizing them. So once they heard that, it was like, "Okay, cool." and then like that was what I told them that in like what year 10 yeah so it's quite um, early yeah so relatively there's a lot of development happened and then I remember well, year 10 year 11 it was around the time like we were choosing like I think yeah yeah year 10 year 11 and then I remember chose A levels and I was like yeah I want to do maths physics chemistry and music tech and they were like what why did you want to do yeah, that yeah. Like, what's, what's music tech mm. I was like, and, but we'd already spoken about music as like a possibility mm-hmm. in like, later life they're like okay fine yeah do it it's true okay fine they're like okay yeah. as long as you're doing maths mm-hmm. physics you, know mm-hmm. you have the other thing your hobby yeah, kind exactly. of thing the, the but yeah hobby, yeah the exactly. hobby <laughs> and then uh, when I decided I didn't want to go to Cambridge anymore that was mainly because of a race thing I just didn't mm-hmm. want to be surrounded by white people mm-hmm. that was like the main reason 100% yeah I get you so I told them I told my mum I told my dad that first 
Bear in mind, they live together in the same house. <laughs> but, you know what different I mean? Different conveyors. Yeah, different, no, yeah, but was, my parents are the same. My parents, my parents are literally the same. Like, if I... Sometimes I'll tell my dad something and I'm, you know, expecting my mum to come back and be like, oh, so your dad told me that yeah. this... But, the, but then I'm waiting and waiting and I tell my mum, she's like, oh, really? Did you ask your dad? I'm like, do you, do you guys not talk? She's like, like you know what I mean? <laughs> no, so... I, but I was in the UK, so mm-hmm. this is like the heat... This is like second lockdown, right? Mm-hmm. This time... So I'm in the UK. I'm yeah. with my brother. Mm-hmm. My brother, my parents in Nigeria with my sister. And like, I remember, yeah, it was. I was on the phone with my dad, and I was like, he was, I don't remember what we were talking about, but it just came up like unis, and I was like, I think I want to study chemistry. He's like, what are you gonna do with chemistry? And I was like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. I was like, ultimately, I'm gonna do music anyway. Afterwards, he's like, mm-hmm. oh, so why would you waste my time and money? And then hung up the phone, and I was like, okay. Oh shit. Mm. Shit, so, I can imagine. Uh, why would you waste my time and money? She gave me. I know, I say no. <laughs> then my mum calls me, like, maybe like 20 minutes later on some, like, what happened between you and your dad? Mm. And I was like, huh? Like, I think it's. Talk? Mm, <laughs> what? And then, like, you're not in the same house. Mm-hmm. And she called me on a Ask separate thing. Like, ju- like, she wasn't even with him. So, yeah. like, she then starts talking to me. And she starts going off at me. And, like, she's like, you, you ever been in trouble? And, like, the trouble that you're in, yeah. They're angry about one thing, but it means that they're angry about but everything. everything. Everything, yeah. yeah. So it just got the, peak, bro. Yeah. They start digging for everything. Digging this deep. You're doing this, you're doing that. And, da, 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 and like every so often when they get angry at me, they bring my dreadlocks into it. Like, oh I'm my dreadlocks. gosh. So it's like, bro, it was bro, crazy. bro. <laughs> 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 Bro, what I tell you? Black house was a new joke. I know <laughs> what I mean. like, Oh man, what was, your, what, what was your parents' first reaction to you getting dressed? Dread, yeah. Bro, it was a process. It was a process. So again, I didn't live with them. Mm-hmm. So I would go home. I would go to school, mm-hmm. and like, I remember it wasn't even like a conscious choice. I like, just one day. That is so kind funny. Of stopped cut, combing my mm-hmm. hair. Stopped cutting it. And my hair's quite coarse in it, so mm-hmm. once I stopped combing it after a couple of months, it started to dread by itself. And like it was mm-hmm. like little, little. But I was clocking like, oh shit. Yeah. But I was like, hey, yeah, man. okay, mm. just leave it. It's not. Just leave it. Whatever. Yeah, that was kind whatever. of because remember, Tima, I used to have, I had like little dreads. Like, yeah. It wasn't Ray as long as yours. Yeah. This was like when I was 16, 17. Yeah, a few years ago. Um, I, my parents just didn't like it. They didn't like it, and eventually, like I would, I was getting a bit sick of it, but I didn't want to admit it. Uh, admit it, so I just made the conscious decision, quote unquote, conscious decision that like I'm gonna chop them off. And my parents actually jubilated. <laughs> I, I was I had a bald ass skinhead for like until it grew back. It was even bad. I looked like Tyler the Creator. I look like Tyler the Creator. <laughs> Have you seen that picture of him without the, the, his hat on and his ears are just sticking? Yeah, out? Man. bro, I look like that. It's not even. I look like that. Were well, you talking about the mugshot one? Yes, yeah. bro. I look like that. <laughs> Meme. That was so funny. Nah, so yeah, like it was just like I would go and then like they'd come back and like at first they, no one really clocked because it was just mm. like my hair was not combed. Yeah. Like, comb your hair and I'd be like, oh, I know. And then like. After a while. One, after a while, it started to, And they were like, okay, when are you going to cut your hair? Mm-hmm. And I was like, uh, no, nah, yeah, I'll cut yeah, it. But I'll at this point, it's still it. like a high top mm-hmm. that's just a bit like nappy. It's yeah. not really... And then I remember my brother got married and that summer, I didn't go back to Nigeria. They came to here. Mm-hmm. My brother got married. And because of the wedding, everybody was, was all hectic. No mm-hmm. one was really thinking about Toby's hair. Mm-hmm. So my hair was just getting worse and worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so like the end of the summer came and my dad was like, you know what? I'm not. I'm gonna leave this your hair issue because I'm in a good mood because my son got married. I was mm-hmm. like, bless you, thank God. Oh, bless you, bless your family. No. Then the next time I came home was Christmas. Went home and by this point my hair really started to free form. Mm-hmm. Was doing, like it was locking get, up, you know, mature stages. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but, but it was still standing, innit? And I remember I came home. My parents were like, "What? Nah, nah, nah." <laughs> <laughs> they were like, "Nah, this is it's got. Like, it's Heart going too pack. far. It's going too far." Listen. You have two options. Either you cut it or you make it look neater. At least if you're going to do this dreadlock, make it look neat. I said, really? Cool. <laughs> Give me some bread. I'll go to salon today. I'll do my shit mm-hmm, today. Mm-hmm. And then they gave it. And then I got my shit properly locked. And that was Christmas of 2020. So as in, sorry, no, Christmas of 2019 going into 2020. Oh, okay. And then that's when I first started my dress. They were like this mm-hmm. long. And then since then, I haven't cut it. Spurs. Spurs. 
I've, I've seen it in fam in households. You don't tell them what you're doing. You just do it. You just yeah. do and it. They'll, and they'll and they'll and they'll do and they'll probably get over it. It was bro. a war of attrition. Yeah, they'll get over sure. it. Like you just had to slowly break yeah, them down. Yeah, literally. Like, if I just came, if I just went from like short hair to dreads, I know that's not possible. Mm-hmm. If I just had done that, done mm-hmm. that over time. Yeah. But like now, it's gone to the point where they've just kind of gotten used to it as it's mm-hmm. been growing. Yeah. yeah. So Even for like, me to like have like, cause I had plaits before. Yeah. They haven't seen my cameras in person, but like they were the same. Sort of thing. I just went and did it, and then just came home, and then was like, "Ta-da!" <laughs> but um, yeah. even like it, it took time for them. Like my mom is even now; she's getting kind of used to it. And I think she prefers cameras, to be honest. Mm-hmm. To be honest, my parents are really kind. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe no, 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 no. But even deeper, I don't really do anything like crazy. I don't dye my. I have dyed my hair, but I don't like dye my yeah. hair. I don't dye my. Like, I don't get a face tat. I don't have tattoos. So I don't really do anything that's mm. really like Tima. You didn't even have Tima didn't even have her ears pierced till like yeah, last year. Yeah, but it like last year. Yeah, I literally got my ears pierced last bro, year. Piercings is a fight. Bro. Because my parents, my piercings parents didn't really bro, like. I... They didn't want me to get my ears pierced. Right. So I, <laughs> I know. I, I literally know. I literally know. Bro. My parents. <laughs> one of my mom told me relatively recently. She was like, to I don't know. She was looking at my hair and she touched it or something. She was like, just because you have these dreads, don't think that you can just go and get, get piercings. piercings. <laughs> I was like, I was like, nah, I just your piercings isn't that deep. Do you know what I mean? But I want a nose deep. piercing. I'm gonna be so real. Same, bro. Dead ass. I was oh, gonna get shit. one like a couple <coughs> weeks ago, but I just I lit- literally forgot. <laughs> I literally just forgot. Mm-hmm. I'm waiting until I have enough bread that if my parents say you can't sleep here, I can sleep somewhere. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. But yeah, um, what's it? What's, you, what's you the next question? You need a backup plan. You need the backup. Oh, yeah. Um, Do you have any, like, anything upcoming, like, other than the EP? Mm-hmm. Let them know the name as well. What's the okay, EP called? so the EP... I haven't actually announced this anyway. This is a sneaky peeky. This sneaky is the peaky. bedroom... Exclusive! Here, bedroom project exclusive. <laughs> You're hearing it you here first. You don't get this anywhere else. Just know that. Just know You're that. You're hearing it here <laughs> first. The You're hearing EP it. is going to be called Demos and Dark Thoughts. Demos word, and word, dark word, word, Demos and dark thoughts. So get... let me just, I'm just going to give you a little introduction to what really no means. Can so I... um, the EP basically, the whole point of it is that it's supposed to feel, it feels a little bit unfinished. Mm-hmm. It feels a little bit raw. And that's that. That's why the demos. Yeah, okay, demos and dark thoughts. So okay, yeah. it's just these like kind of more experimental beats than I've done before, than I've released before. Mm-hmm. And like, you know, I'm, I'm fucking around with my voice and shit and doing things that I haven't really done yeah. before. And they're like, the verses are kind of, unfinished and like halfway mm. and sometimes it's just the same verse where it's said like a couple times do you think and, like, like it's like you're finding yourself in like kind of i just the... it was just like some shit i just put it together mm-hmm. and like it just felt it was kind of like it, i haven't hadn't so my first ep the way i put it together was back then i was freestyling everything mm-hmm. so i'd make a beat freestyle it done song yeah and i did and because i was making a beat a day mm-hmm. literally the, the six songs that came out five of them were made like in a week span of each wow, other and okay. then the intro i made retrospectively like oh this After, would be cool okay. to start it and then i put it out mm-hmm. this one i made the beats just like uh, i was just just like how i'd be making beats all the time i just made a beat made a beat made a beat and then i looked back and i was like i have a lot of beats i haven't released in a while let me see what i can do so i went back over the beats and like i was writing and recording and it just wasn't feeling right like it just felt a bit flat mm-hmm and I just kept writing. Like, I, I hadn't really written like like that before. I hadn't like workshopped my lyrics and really been like, I could say this better. Like, this mm-hmm, is not like mm-hmm. type shit. And I was just like trying to do that a bit more and trying to be a bit more like deliberate with how I say what I'm saying. And then I was like, not really fucking with it. So I kept like fucking with my vocals because I didn't like how my voice was sounding at the time. And like, I don't know. It just sounds a bit weird, a bit different. And mm-hmm. I was like, this is cool. I'm different in what kind of like in uh different from what i'd be releasing okay. like, it's not it's not i wouldn't say it's like the most it's the craziest shit you ever heard it's not like i wouldn't even really call it experimental mm-hmm. music okay but it's experimental for my sound mm-hmm. and like i'm pushing what really what mm. uh, can be considered as r&b oh okay okay um i have a question for you that i just came up with now actually <clears throat> i'm really big on like whenever i i hear that someone's making music i'm always asking like like you just said you're not trying to do anything like too crazy experimental but in the future maybe mm-hmm. what is like your goals for like what 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 kind of things do you want to bring to the industry what kind of things do you want to musically yeah musically like in the future do you you know hope to so hope to do i mean as far as production i feel like okay a lot there's a lot of producers out here there's a lot of niggas making music full stop right? mm. there's a lot of niggas that say hi i my name is X and I make music and I be rapping, R. especially 
<laughs> I didn't even think about it. Especially, um, especially like in Cobb. Like, mm-hmm. a, you just meet all these guys, and like a lot of kids doing like trap music and like drill and mm-hmm. da 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 and whatever. And like, so I didn't, I don't, I felt like as someone that's a rap enthusiast, I don't really feel like I'm a rapper, mm-hmm. or I, I don't feel like I make rap beats really. I feel like you could rap on my beats, but they're not really rap beats. In the future, my like. One of my biggest goals, all like the artists I really be looking up to for the most part, and all the media I consume is like hip hop media. Like mm-hmm, it's all rap yeah. based. I want to be like in those conversations without having to be a rapper. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's like so like like DJ a- okay. academic. No, no, <laughs> not like DJ academic. Like, not like him, but he's in the hip hop community, but he's not so, a rapper. Yeah, but I mean, still in music. So like, so like, like, like a Tim Westwood. No, no, not like a <laughs> like, like a Charlie Puth. I, no, like <laughs> Sampha. Do you not know who Sampha? No, nah, I don't know Sampha. Are you guys serious? No. You don't know who Sampha? I don't know Sampha. No, Sampha. Sampha. I feel like you've told me about him before, though. Who Sampha's he? like so. Okay, have you heard? Don't think about it. Too. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Oh, okay. That's, okay. Him. that's his voice. That's it. and he made that song, produced it. You heard Solange's album? Yeah, um, not, um, not, not the not when I get home. The one before that, the first first one. The with, one the, with, with the shit in my hair. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. The yeah, one with yeah. Crazy Sky. Yeah, a lot of that was written and produced by Sam. Not completely written, but he wrote a lot of. Oh, okay, write, yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. Of that. Um, he's worked with like Drake, all these big artists. Like fucking who else? He was working with someone just. A seat at the table. That's yeah. the album. Um, no, not the one, the one. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, no. The seat the at the table. table yeah, 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 you're right. The seat um, at the table. Or someone like Steve Lacey. Right? Okay. It's like he's making R and B music. Yeah, yeah, but Steve Lacey. He's producing for Jay Z. He's producing for uh, fucking Kendrick. Producing for J Cole. Mm-hmm. Producing for all these rappers mm. and not make him rap beats. Okay, you know okay, what I mean? yeah. And he's or not like, a rapper either. Kind of like exactly, Pharrell, maybe. Yeah. Like Pharrell. Exactly. Yeah. Kind of like Pharrell. Well, okay, yeah. Pharrell was just, fucking yeah, with the Neptune. Yeah, when you want to be in the industry, but like you ever heard Central Seduction? Yeah, Dog was, yeah, yeah, Dog was doing up yeah, R&B and shit, yeah. but he was, and he was doing like shit that he wouldn't be expected to do. I yeah. want to be the producer that niggas that, come to. Okay, that's like when they want like, mm-hmm. like, to switch up. Out, yeah. I want to branch out yeah. like that. Tyler's like that. Tyler's kind of like Tyler's, that too. Yeah, Tyler but he is kind of like Also, as he do be rapping, like, yeah, rapping, true. Rapping, so, mm-hmm. Okay, true, true, true. But yeah, that's like the lane I want to make. Okay, first, so you'd so you want to be more of a producer than a rapper? Yeah, like singing is cool and I do enjoy it, but at the moment I just feel like I don't know. I I feel like. I'm that's just not, be, not where your passion is. I'm always going to be singing and, and, and writing, but that that's the thing that gets me the most excited is the beats. Okay. Mm, yeah. That's your passion. And yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's why I got into it. Like, the singing thing just kind of came... With it. With it. Like, I was like, <laughs> oh, right, I could right, probably right, sing right, on right. this, and then I did. And then that was it. <clears> yeah. So. Okay, cool. All cool. right, yeah, I get you. Um... Uh, next question. What, is even, what even is I the next question? I have another question. So how does where you're from and how you grew up affect, like, your music? Like, your sound and yeah. shit? Yeah. And your genre? I think more than anything, going to boarding school affected my music. Mm-hmm. Because, mm-hmm. like, I feel like if I just stayed in Croydon, I wouldn't make the music I made. Mm-hmm, yeah. Like... I don't, like no shade, but I don't I don't make trap music. I don't mm-hmm. make drill. Yeah, I get mm-hmm. you. That's yeah. what's popping now. In, I feel in like Croydon, yeah. not even just in, I feel like just in the in black general. community in, 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 in the UK, and mm-hmm. I feel like as well like I saw Lancey first said this, and it's so real. And I feel like in in black UK music, right? Or there's only ever one like popping thing at once. You dig. Like, you did. When niggas was making grime, niggas was, it was making grime. grime. When niggas was making drill, niggas, niggas was making okay. Yeah. When niggas was making that like Afro, Afro swing, swing type, yeah. Uh, but Afro swing, sound. I'm so pissed that Afro swing didn't even it, pull it through. It died, bro. It died. NSG it's was because. Too but do you know hard. why? But do you know why? Because like, think about J Haas. Think about like Dave. Think yeah. about um, NSG. They never really came out with albums like that, yeah, and they didn't. And they didn't really like even now that oh look at what happened to flipping young bane like where is young bane all these people that were spearheading the yeah. the whole community the whole sound are just dead like oh god j house is actually so fucking fire <laughs> j house he's so you? good i but you know what i don't even my favorite j house isn't like when he's singing and doing an afro swing my favorite j house is when he sings like when he raps okay like, yeah, about, yeah, like, yeah yeah really like grindy shit when mm-hmm. he starts to talk about stabbing niggas in the eyeballs <laughs> and shit that is when he, when he does it with that like kind of fresh african accent mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Oh, that is too much. That's yeah. just too much. Mm. So when Afro singles popping, Afro singles popping. Yeah. When yeah. what's what's now? Drill. So everyone's kind of just well, like Central C and that yeah. kind of thing is popping now. Yeah. 
Yeah. And then when the next wave, you know, in a couple of years or it, maybe yeah, yeah. I don't even know how long Kira will last. Maybe, yeah. The next wave will come mm-hmm. and that will be that. And it's like I feel like if you're not, everyone's making that. At I that feel time. like I feel like people I are like, scared. No, I feel, I feel like, like Nux and Saint, like that kind of genre. Like, yeah, that's what's rap, kind of new. That's what's new, but that's but, popping now. But, but it's not as pop. It's not popping as much as as drill as, as like as Central Cedar. Yeah. yeah. But like yeah, you're right. Saint, have you heard of like YT? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Fucking what's that nigga? The, uh, like Ayrton or whatever. Ayrton. 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 Yeah. Loves the cat. Like Loves these the are cat like is these cold. are like this is like the sound that is kind of building, and I, I feel like that's kind of definitely more what I synonymize with in terms of the way my music yeah, sounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's still not that. Mm-hmm. It's still not it's that. It's still not like, that. Yeah. That shit is still rappy. It's still yeah. Got, like. Mm-hmm. The blue band what do you mean? What do you mean? Like they still be using like um trap drums. Laos the cat. Not Laos, not Laos, but like the rest of everybody else. Like Saint, no. Saint, Saint, okay. YT, yeah. fucking Lux. Yeah, yeah. um, Even like Bauer. I feel like because I've, I've been listening to Saint, not Saint, um, <coughs> Nux, since for like a minute now. Mm. Before like he blew up, mm. and I feel like now that he's blown up, like what you're saying, everybody's kind of gonna gravitate towards that. But when he was coming up, he was trying to be different. Yeah. And by being different, he's now creating the it's thing that everybody thing. wants yeah, exactly. to move yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. And, and that's the I, thing. I think the same. That's that's my model. If that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. that's what I want to do. I want to be popping because of yeah. I did some shit. That I mm-hmm. did some original, different. authentic. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which is why, like, when I get asked, like, oh, do you make trap beats or do you make drill beats? I could. Like trap beats, maybe more, but like drill beats, I've literally never made one. I probably could, like, I, yeah. know, like, I probably could, but I never tried, and I don't really want to. Like, yeah, because that's not what me. you like. It's, yeah, it doesn't align with. Like, that's not your. Like, yeah. I, I want. I don't want this shit to be a job or a chore. I want. Yeah. I want to keep making shit that it excites yeah. me. Yeah, and that's why I always ask. Like I said, I ask when people make music what they're trying to do because. If you're always moving to the thing that's popping right now, what is, your goal is not even you're to be... Your goal behind, is just to bro. make money. Yeah. I mean, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you need to remember that this is an art and, you know, you know to I remember mean? you need to bring something to that to mm. make you stand out. You're leaving your legacy. Let me know. Behind. I don't want to rant too much, but, like, I really, really feel like music is an art form that's <laughs> been treated like it's not art for too long. Yeah. It's been over-monetized, over-commercialized, mm-hmm. bro. Like, think about it like this, right? You have an artist today, a pop idol is what you really refer them to, yeah. refers them to. They have an average voice, but they have a cool little face and style yeah, and aesthetic, look, and you yeah. can sell them. Mm-hmm. As if I'm a label and I can market you, right? Mm-hmm. So I say, listen, change that jumper. We're going to we're gonna make red this your jumper. colour. We're going to make red your colour. You're going to make this kind of music. We're going to get our boys to engineer and produce you. We've got some lyrics for you. We've got this for you. All you got to do is get in the booth and say this. We're going to make it sound cool. Mm-hmm. Put it out. We'll do your media drop. Bam. You'll go, you'll go do BBC. You'll go mm-hmm. do uh, fucking... And there's cash, one. And there's cash you sign in my yeah, eyes. Yeah. You go do all that. We'll make you a star. Don't worry. That's why. And that's like, why. And like, think about like, if a nigga said, you're really attractive... Let's make. Let's tell everyone that this art, mm-hmm. this painting, you drew it because mm-hmm. yeah, we'll be able to because, market yeah. you. Yeah, doesn't we'll make sense. You. But I yeah. think it's because like music and and like pop culture have been so like morphed together that there's no there's no there's no there's no different yeah. there's no, yeah, there's no differentiation. Like, especially because as well of how accessible music is. Like mm-hmm. you anyone listen to music can. all the time. Yeah, yeah. anyone like, can listen. To like, like, it used don't to even be really fuck with music. Mm-hmm. Listen to music. And listen it's very music. influential as well. I feel like I mean obviously I didn't grow up in this time, but you could you used to be able to tell who's really a music fan. Right, yeah. you, because <sighs> to get music, it wasn't as accessible as it is you now. You know what like, I mean? You, you have, have to go 20, out. You yeah, do, you spend have to buy a lot of money. You're like, spending your whole allowance on a on one album. You gotta re- you got when that shit when you buy that shit you yeah. gotta rinse it. When you, you, you dig, buy the you dig, you well. dig, you, know you dig, and like, it really shows. It shows who really has a love for it. Who really, mm-hmm. who's really willing to mm-hmm. go out. Step like outside when, your yard like and buy it. People's sound systems in their house used to be so like they used to be on trophy kind of thing. Like they used to be like, oh, I got this speaker. Look at this hi-fi. Look at this hi-fi. Now he will get his his little fucking. It's about convenience now. Accessibility. Like yeah. when somebody says, like if you ask somebody, what's your hobbies? You say, oh, I like music. They'll be like, Ooh, well, okay. okay. Yeah. Like, like, he doesn't like music. Doesn't like music. <laughs> he doesn't like music. <laughs> like, I like watching TV. Yeah, you uh, do. Yeah, like, everyone you has do. a TV. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Everybody like, like, and then I, I feel like, I don't want to be a gatekeeper because I don't want to say oh, mm. I, uh, only niggas that really fuck like oh, that doesn't make sense. No, that's like, not that's not what we're trying to do. I'm here. Not we're not trying to say that. Gatekeep. I'm not like, you could, yeah, like what you like. Do what you want to do, man. All my thing is, is that. I feel like we got to look at artists like artists and we got to look at music like art. Mm-hmm. And Word. if we don't, then we're going to lose the essence of what it's about. 100%, 100%. And that's what we love to hear.
That's what we like. I like that though. I yeah, like that I really, mindset. I, li- I really, I really understand like and respect all where you're coming from. Up for that. Right. Uh, <laughs> that was a W. Yeah, that was a that W. Was w, w, w that was a W take. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's the time? Where's the next question? Where's the time? Though? What's the time? Five forty-two. How long have you been talking? Like half an hour? Forty-seven 40 minutes. minutes. Wow. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay. Uh, oh yeah. Who are people that you look f- look to for like inspiration? Okay. Uh, Anyone. I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't necessarily have to be like musician. in the mu- music yeah. musical Niggas community. Me. I mean, so like it can be. It can even be like a film mm-hmm. or a fashion. Even a cartoon like. character. <laughs> Does anyone? Right, Bart Simpson. Top. Fantastic Mr. Fox, the main character. Word. Yeah. That Fox nigga is crazy. He's crazy. Nah, Fantastic Mr. Fox, <laughs> he's, a, he's a narcissist, he's, bro. He's, do you know why he's, he's a narcissist? He's a narcissist. Bro. So am I on the low low. So he's like, like, bro, I'm Nigerians. Nigerians. You Nigerians. Bro, you Nigerians. They were narcissists. Related, bro. <laughs> he's like, bro, I was, I was watching. I was related, bro. I was watching it this summer. I was really That's fried. One of my favorite films and I was like, it is, it, bro, it's in my top 10 films. I was watching it. I was like, Cause he said something like, "I'm not gonna say it here because it's gonna be like, oh, so Ray's one of those people." <laughs> Ray is so one I'm, of those people. <laughs> I'm not gonna say what he said, but he said a quote in the film, and I was like, "Shit, I can actually relate to that. I need to pattern up." But you know, but hold on, I'm gonna be so real, yeah. I think if you're not a little bit narcissistic, then you probably don't have a lot of self confidence. Self confidence. Self confidence. Ah. Mm, I can, you can agree be confident. With that. No, but you can be confident and not be a narcissist. Narcissist. Yeah, but being narcissist, being a narcissist and having narcissistic qualities. Okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Cool, let's cool, not cool. get. Okay, okay. Let's okay. not get narcissism mixed up with self love. Mm-hmm. I feel yeah. like narcissism and self love are of two course, different so, things. Of course, you can be self love, but um. But like, I feel like I'm I, niggas. Be like, oh, Toby, you have main character syndrome. Nigga, if you're not your main character, then the fuck? Then who yeah, else no, is going like, to be your main character? I am, I am, I am a main okay. character, per. Okay, okay, okay. Let me, let me, I am let... a main character, per, but I'm not a narcissist. Let me separate this. There's main character syndrome, right? And then there's delusion. You can have, like, there's thinking you're the main character and just thinking, oh, if I do this, um, this is going to work out like mm-hmm. a TV show. But thinking everything's mm. about you is another thing. Yeah. yeah. And, like, when, when, me, when people, these people that think the whole world revolves around them and their issues are more important than yours. That's like, what I'm talking about. That's I delusion, hate, bro. Yeah, that's delusion. That's, that's delusion. too much. I don't like people like that. That's, ugh, that's icky. Too that's too much. That's but icky. I, I do think, like, in my life, at least, I'd be trying to treat myself like, I'm really me. Mm-hmm. Like, do you know what I'm saying? I'm him, bro. Like, I'm Red, bro. Because, um. <laughs> like sometimes, like, I, no, I'm that like, that do you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes, obviously, it's not every day that I feel like the shit. No, <laughs> like, <laughs> these guys, <laughs> these guys, bro. We're just not okay. No, because if you don't affirm yourself, if you don't tell yourself you're that, sh- who's gonna mm-hmm. tell you? Bro? No who's gonna, gonna tell, tell you? you, bro? I'm really big on manifestations. I used to, th- I, I used to think that that kind of shit is like really dumb, like uh, spirits and stuff. Like, but I don't know. Even if it's, it's even if you don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's a spiritual thing. thing. Even in, e- all, in all religions, manifestation is yeah. uh, part of it. Like prayer, even a sense of manifestation. You, you dig, you dig. You know Man, let there be light spoke it into existence. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <laughs> what's it? Um, I just feel like when you speak in things into existence, your kind of your brain is just that's what's on your mind. Do you know? Mm-hmm. No, if you're saying, if you're saying like, oh, I'm the best. I'm oh shit, camera's off. If I'm saying I'm the best, I'm this, this, like I'm gonna mm-hmm. make this money. Mm-hmm. tomorrow you know you're setting goals and just writing it down and saying it just 100%. Because, keeping nah, it in your energy real talk I feel like if you put all your mind like if I always say to myself I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this mm-hmm. and I I am wanting to do it and I'm yeah. trying to do it mm-hmm. as well as telling everyone you I'm gonna, do it I'm yeah. putting do you know what I'm saying I'm yeah. putting all, every yeah. bone in my body every mm-hmm. molecule every yeah. cell is towards this one goal mm-hmm. yeah. so it's like I don't think it's a manifest state where it's like the end of what universe puts it so it makes sense for you but I think it's like if you really believe something in your you heart, can accomplish you're going to put everything, it, yeah. you're going yeah. to make it happen. Yeah. It's a self-fulfilling, self-fulfilling prophecy. Mm-hmm. I you think we I mean? talked about this last time. We did time. talk about it Fake it till you make it. Okay. Yeah, no, I feel that. I honestly feel mm-hmm. that. I be telling niggas, like, I be saying shit like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be this, like, I'm going to be like, I'm going to be like Drake. I used to say that shit all the time. Mm. I don't even, like, Drake is not even, like, one of my idols, but he's just someone I can say, yeah. I can say it and you know who he is and yeah. you know what he does and yeah. you know how big he is. Pharrell is a better example, but I don't feel like people, every people don't know. Really don't understand know. the gravity yeah, of really who he Pharrell. is. But like, I, I used to be, I used to say to my friends, like, not, like not even people that like I'm acquainted with, like mm. just people that like, I go to school with or some shit like, oh, oh, I'm, I'm going to be, be yeah. Drake. I'm going to be Drake. I used and, to like, say the same thing, like, but I, I wouldn't, I would say it to the people that got it because, you know, 
I feel like you shouldn't. I I don't like to spread my like yeah. goals to like everybody. Yeah, so you said, if you, you know who Smino is, and I'm telling you, I'm trying to be like Smino. I know that you get it, and I know that you get me. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, dig. Yeah, yeah. But I just felt like if I kept if I kept saying it like, cause in my head, yeah, I was like, of course they're not gonna get it. Of course they're not gonna see me and be like, yeah, you're gonna be that big. Cause no one thought Drake was gonna be Drake before he was Drake. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like. And like I just I, I I was always saying it like so it's like niggas can say it, I've been saying it mm-hmm. and then when it happens <laughs> niggas be like yeah. oh shit yeah he was really talking about it and then he did that and like that's that was yeah. it was like mm-hmm. it was like almost like uh, holding myself accountable like okay, okay. I, put it, okay. I yeah. put it down now I have to no, I you have, have no to. choice yeah. 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 that's kind of like the opposite of what we were saying last You're week I w- of what I was saying anyways but that I'm like a all bite no yeah, bark yeah, yeah. type of nigga like i don't well, like i don't want to say what i'm doing i just want to one day you just see that ray made this ray got an oscar what <laughs> what, what when did that happen yeah, mm-hmm. I feel you. you dig so I feel i'd like to catch people by surprise mm-hmm. and also like people be wishing down on you yeah and stuff, mm-hmm. so you don't so. want people's bad energy and bad vibes but whatever like you know you seem whatever, to whatever be, works for you. Yeah, you seem whatever, to whatever know motivates what you're doing, you. Because so. sometimes you could say it and be like, you know what? Well, yeah, now I've said it. There's a the pressure for me to actually yeah, perform. Yeah, there's a the pressure for you yeah. to actually do. Yeah, there's pressure yeah. for you to perform. I so remember, it like, can can make you perform better. I feel like, and then, like as well, like because I was always talking. Niggas used to think right. Oh, this nigga has a grasp. He knows what he's on. Oh, shit, I don't know what I'm doing. Bro, word. <laughs> I'm just here. Bro, word. I'm bro, word. Here. I used here. to get like imposter syndrome because I was like, I'm saying that I'm doing this, but I haven't done it yet. Like I'm, t- it's taken longer than I expected, imposter and I felt, like, I felt like, imposter syndrome. Like even like you said, you self your self taught yourself yeah, um, yeah, drums. Yeah. I'm mm-hmm. self taught in bass, and it was I don't know. I just I don't know if it was easy or I was just consistent or, I don't know. I just got good after just playing and playing and playing. But, but, my and then in my head mm-hmm. it was kind of like sorry what, practice makes perfect. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. In my head, it was kind of like, bass is easy. Like, anybody yeah. can learn bass. So I was just getting imposter syndrome. Like, oh, am People, I really, yeah. Am I really good or is bass just easy? easy. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. And literally, like, one of the reasons that the, this EP <laughs> is, is the way it is. <laughs> this EP I'm about to release is the way it is. Is because I kind of, I felt that, like, I've been on the fence about releasing it for a long time. Because... I played it to some niggas. That I, I, I don't fuck with a lot of niggas, right? There's a lot of niggas. Like, I don't, I, there's a lot of people I like, but there's not a lot of people I really like. Mm-hmm. And, like, it's not a lot of people whose opinion actually matters, matters to me. To you, yeah. I feel like I'm quite a stubborn person. I don't like being told what to do. And so most people, I won't ask your opinion because I don't care. Mm-hmm. I don't want to hear what you have to say about it. So, <laughs> do you know what I mean? And so when I then, just, when I, like, put, I put the shit together and I, I just decided to play it for some people, the first person I played it for was my brother. And he didn't, he's like, he's like my manager, kind of. And he's like, like he's a big part of my career, mm-hmm. I guess. And, like mental um, even, yeah, kind of, yeah. Sort of. And so I played it for him. And it was just like, the energy wasn't energy in. It's a, it's a very like, I mean, already, it's not like a hype EP. It's not, it's not the kind of thing you're going to be like, ah. But it's like, it's very, it's somber, it's mellow, it's dark. And like, when we were, but when we were listening to it, I just didn't feel like he really liked it. Mm-hmm. Mm. And Maybe then, it just wasn't for him. Yeah, and I feel like that's what I have to kind of come to terms with, that not everything I release is going to be for everyone. Yeah. But if it's for me, yeah. then it's going to come out. Yeah, because yeah. it's your art. It's how yeah. you express yeah. yourself. But at the same time, like, I used to be kind of like, oh, I'm not going to listen to your opinion because I feel like you don't get it. But it's if, okay if you don't get it, though. It's okay if you don't get it, but also, like, Try you've got to, you've got to, you want to try and reach people that wouldn't necessarily <coughs> look for your music yeah, yeah, yeah. so taking advice from people who don't necessarily get yeah. it is also good because you you want you want to reach that you want people to listen to that and think what is that like people who won't usually mm-hmm. you know delve into that kind of and you'll make music. and by am i getting feedback from them you'll make people who don't understand it get it like you can maybe like tweak your work to make it more accessible for other people yeah. or, or, or like um or be open for for a, for a wider range of people. Exactly. You understand what I mean? Yeah, but so, like so. But taking had, criticism from them would help. When mm. I had uh, finished it and I played it to him, he was like not really fucking with it. And then I played it to two pe- other people. Uh, actually, I plugged them. My boy called Kamzi, my boy called Nessa. They're both part of my collective. Shout out to them. Mm-hmm. Really, you know what I'm saying? It's Shout out to that. Are we speaking on that? Uh, yeah, we, we can come back to it. We'll come back to it. Um, but yeah, so 
I played it to them and they were like, it's so much better mm-hmm. than the last one. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, oh my God. And that was like a battery in my back. That was like, okay, fuck that. Fuck what anybody else has said. Mm-hmm. If these two guys fuck with it and they know yeah. what they I know, yeah, they, they see what I see. Yeah. Yeah. Then like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, I must get that. Then it must be fire. Mm-hmm. So then like, I, feel that. I heard it from my brother again and my boy Otter, the guy who made these trousers. Shout out to that. <laughs> Shout out to Cross. Nod to Cross on Instagram. Go find it. Go order a pair of trousers. Go order a pair of jeans today. Um, Charles are hard. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, he, he, him. I played it to him and Robert again, and they were both like, I mean, it's cool, but I don't think it's better than the last one. And I, it was just like, I guess, like I was, I started to feel like, am I even hard? Am I, am I even like getting better? Am I regressing? And I got like mm. a imposter syndrome, and then mm. I was just like, I was him. I played it to myself, mm. and then I was just like, even when I played it, it was, it was, I played it literally the other day to someone. Just I like, played one of the songs. Yeah. And like. I just and then the next song played afterwards and I was like shit nah my shit hard bro <laughs> I gotta have more confidence in myself if I mm-hmm. I made it for a reason and it yeah. was like it's the reason why I want it to kind of feel unfinished and the reason why it's demos it's like mm. and I've been I've been releasing a lot of shit on my Instagram basically being like it's like all these like it's a series of photos that say all of them have a text on them that says these are not songs merely ideas yeah and it's I've like, been seeing that promo bro you, I like it well. and it's just like I just kind of I'm oh, I'm almost doing it for myself just to affirm for myself that like <clears throat> no matter what anyone else is think these are like the bare bones this, mm-hmm. is, this is just a start like mm-hmm. you shouldn't if you don't fuck with this that doesn't mean like yeah, you know yeah, this yeah. Is, just stay tuned like mm-hmm. give it some time type of shit so mm-hmm. yeah that, that's 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 mm-hmm. what I'm gonna say on that. Oh yeah. yeah. I hate you. Oh yeah. I was gonna ask you as well. This is not why I was gonna ask, but something else. Um, who are your favorite music artists? Like, who would you say your top? Five. five is a lot free. Free. Nah, I want but five. five <laughs> because it, I was gonna. I, I I think five would be easier because three. You, yeah, you, okay, you have yeah. more like yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Three is like you have to narrow In it. No down. particular order. But Kanye comes first. Kanye West. Kanye love West. That. Kanye love that. West. Love Kanye that. Love West. that. Kanye West. Kanye West. Kanye West. He's so fucking hard. I don't care. Anybody can tell me, but Timo, you love Kanye as well. I do love Kanye. I do love Kanye. I do love Kanye. But he wore a MAGA hat. Fuck you. I don't care, bro. He is crazy. I like. I like. I like his confidence. He is still relevant. Yeah, I like such a long amount of time. I like old Kanye, Mm. but I like new Kanye style. You don't like his music. Oh, you know, I like old Kanye music. I even like new Kanye music. Kind of. I like all but the errors. Style, Every error style, of Kanye. Kind of. Someone and he said, probably has like damn near three more errors in it. <laughs> Literally, he's, so fire. he's relevant forever. Do you know what? <laughs> like, shit, he's too hard. Bro. I was gonna um say that going off of what you said about like the oh, the maga thing, I feel like somebody said something and it, they said when people don't don't focus on trying to let people understand you. When people don't understand you, you can be whatever you want to mm-hmm. be, and. I think that applies to Kanye. Like people don't get it. I don't even get it. To be honest, I don't, I don't even, even get it. I don't think. I don't, I don't think, think he even get gets it sometimes. But think, it's all right. I feel like sometimes we scrutinize people like too much. Him too much, man. Mm. Mm-hmm. Like, yes, he said some brash things. But when has Kanye not said some brash thing? What every his whole career has been like this. I, like, like, mm-hmm. it's like every time he does some shit like that's off the wall, niggas be surprised. That he does but that's shit Kanye. That's, that's, what, that's what he does, bro. It's that's Kanye, what he does. man. And he's been able to be like so influential and so dominant mm-hmm. on so many different fronts. Yeah, like the fashion, music, the fa- music, bro, niggas politics. really wear Yeezys, bro. Like niggas yeah. really wear those. People like that shit wear, is like, actually I see really the, dominant. I remember when it when they first came out, you were seeing them, you know, here and there. But now it's like. Everybody has you. He's yeah. not just a rapper with shoes, bro. He's not, he wants, he he's wants not to just make a rapper free. with clothes. Like, I wouldn't even call. Communist. I wouldn't even call Kanye a rapper. Like, Do you know, what? no, he's not. I wouldn't even call Kanye a rapper. He's just Kanye West. He's, he's gay. He's, he's a he's something. So he's he's not a revolutionary. He's transcended so, like <laughs> artistry, bro. I think he's done something that no one else will really be able to do in the I'll, same way. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be the next. No, we gonna do it. Yeah, we gonna do it. Heard that. Heard that. Heard that. Heard that. Heard that. Yeah. Speaking of manifestations. Yeah, yeah you have to. But yeah, Kanye, Pharrell. Mm. Uh, okay. Tyler the Creator. Mm. Word, word, word. Okay, he's been so influential for me. Very. Another, I like niggas that like uh, constantly just changing and like evolving. Yeah. evolving. He's always evolving, yeah, and he's he also is. like he's. He's an articulated mind. He's got ideas. He's got the right ideas. <clears throat> I went through a big Tyler creative phase and I kind of stopped listening to Tyler, like his interviews and, and stuff like that. And yeah, I, I was... used to be OD on those. Same, bro. <laughs> it was like crack. It was like crack. I mean? Because everything he said was just something it's, that... Yeah, something you could yeah. think yeah. about. You know what I'm you saying? Know what I'm everything, saying? It was like, there was a point and then I feel like I still try to... There was a point where everything I was consuming was towards 
my goal of being like yeah. creative. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, yeah. Everything I was putting in my brain was like, and I feel like that shit was what made me like propel me as far. Like if I wasn't watching a video that was about, like if I was on, 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 not on YouTube watching some interview mm-hmm. or some like weird like tiny desk or some shit yeah. like that, like mm. then I'm not. That I wasn't working. Yeah, you wasn't working. Yeah, yeah, I hundred percent get what you mean. Cause sometimes you'll have like, um, like sprouts of motivation, and you'll then you'll be pushing. And other times you won't be as motivated. Mm. But hundred percent, even with my degree, like product design, I have to, I have to always like, even if I'm just walking on the street, I have to look around, look yeah. at different types, yeah. type like fonts, and be like, oh, that font's quite interesting. Mm. Or look at how something's designed and be like, oh, that's quite cool. Or you know what I mean? You yeah, have to be, I get you. It's, you it's, it's always on your mind. Has to be on your mind. That's be, why, like, you have to live it. You understand? Yeah, you, have you have to, to live, live it. it and you have to it. live it and breathe it. That's <laughs> why, like, I'm so big on like keeping the right company. Because yeah. if people, even if the people around you are spitting knowledge like Tyler does, and keeping that, you know, that energy of mm-hmm. I need Growth to be, I need to be creative, and motivation. I need to, you, you dig, and you, you're gonna want to be like them too, mm-hmm. keeping like the right company, and being in the right atmosphere. Is so important because especially like now since leaving school, because um, I'm in first year, I don't, I don't think I said that. So I've just left school, right? And I feel like at school a lot of the time, especially boarding school you're not forced to be friends with the people around you but you make do mm-hmm. like you yeah. don't because like the nigga I li- like the nigga that lives next to me like lives ne- next door to me I see him every day I got like that's gotta be at least my acquaintance I won't beef him that's too long so it's gotta it's gotta be my friend right mm-hmm. yeah but you're not necessarily no you don't choose to be in that house you don't mm. choose to be like so I'm saying so you you gotta make do you gotta like find common ground and mm-hmm. find things yeah. that we're interested in and as, as well at school a lot of the conversation is school like you're talking about the drama mm-hmm. yeah read on the homework yeah and exactly. ask me the homework and it's like since leaving i feel like a lot pretty much all my friends now that i really interact with are, are people that are on the same show on the same show yeah. yeah so it's like yeah now every single day it's like i'm just working i'm just exercising this muscle mm-hmm. towards yeah. this one goal okay but okay. like yeah. it's just so much better for me some people don't get lucky though. Like yeah. some people just end up like your friends are bums and you become a bum. <laughs> you feel me? Headass. Frank Ocean number four. <laughs> Frank Ocean, come on, bro. You're just naming okay, all the Frank niggas Ocean. that I listen cool. to. I, I I wrote my personal <clears throat> statement about the song Self Control. Is Frank it Ocean. your personal statement? Yep. I did my um. I did something like that for Igor in English language. I wrote about like the Tyler Creator and shit. But yeah. That's anyway, crazy. sorry. Go on. That's that's four. And a fifth musical, I'm, I'm, I'm bugging. Like this is crazy. I don't even know who to say. Number four. Yeah, I don't know who to say, bro. I could. I there could was go, no I women. You didn't see any women. Okay. Does, it, does he have to? Yes. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Yes. You didn't have to. I mean, she wouldn't make my top five, but she probably would make my top seven. So like, I don't know. But I don't know if she, I couldn't. I can't think of someone above her right now. So yeah. like. Lauren Hill. Okay, cool. Oh, come on, I was going to say Erica, but... Come on, no. bro. Each their own. Oh, each their own. <laughs> nah, Lauren Hill is better than uh, Erica, but do you, I yeah, feel okay, like okay, in, okay, in terms yeah, yeah. of, like, mythos and kind of, like, what, what she brought to the to, to the, the world... Scene, yeah. L- Lauren Moore is more... But Erica, more, yeah. Erica, Erica's like a different vibe as well. But Lauren is actually a, a revolutionary. Lauren mm, Hill yeah, is yeah, actually yeah. a revolutionary. For, like, yeah, for, like, the black community, all that stuff. And then, obviously... Say, Erica Badu, yeah. Erica Badu as well, even. They're both in their right. Oh, both in their right. In their they're right. both amazing. Right. You know, know what okay, I mean? Okay, okay, first. You know first, what? First. In their right, first, they're both first. amazing. I don't think they can really be compared. <laughs> I don't think they can. <laughs> I was, because I was going to say something, but I don't think that, the, I was going to say the influence that Lauren Hill was able to have with one solo album is crazy. Crazy. You dig. Crazy. True. You dig. But it drove her True. to like, you know, not want to be in the music mm-hmm. scene anymore. She saw things that, you, you know, made her kind of lose her love for music and it, that album is who the hell is calling me? Unprofessional. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> How is the guest, the nigga that doesn't do a podcast every week, is the one that didn't get any phone calls? Bro, we're busy people. I have my Hello, shit on D&D. We're busy people. Okay, I have okay. my shit on D&D. Hey, I'm I'm sorry. Right. You're all right. right. You're right. All right. It's Film the music me. tech. It's the music tech. She, nah, <laughs> you know the vibes. But nah, like, that's crazy. But at the same time, like, I feel like sometimes we can't... Like, when, I, when people talk about, like, Biggie and Park and shit, niggas say, like... But think about how influential they were for like a short amount of time, and it's like yeah, but you guys are assuming that they would have been. You continued. still, yeah. Like, they could have yeah. fell off. They, they could have fell off. Like I'm not. That's not. I'm they could have been a huge scandal. That you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. I honestly think that. Yeah. Like, exactly. You know? <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying. I don't feel like that can necessarily be an argument for why someone's better than someone else. 
But I also feel like sometimes you can't really compare people as being better or worse than each other. It's a bit different. Two different. Two Everybody different has their own, you know their own experience with different artists and different. And now, once music. you men started talking about Erica Badu, Outcast. Yeah. yeah. Crazy yeah. influence. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which one though? Like big boy, a big boy, or, oh, Andre. or Andre, Andre. Yeah. I feel like Big Boy gets shot. I on love Andre bit. 3000. I feel like Big Boy gets shot on a little bit. I don't think he always gets the love he deserves for what he did in Outcast mm. because it was a duo, it yeah. wasn't yeah. just Andre. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I like songs like, um, what's the Slick Rick and it's Slick Rick and Outcast, um, but it's really Slick Rick and Big Boy. The, the song is, um, I remember you said, you listen to it. No, it's it's nah, it's on, um, it's. I forgot this. It's the album where he's writing a letter or something. Wait, did we listen to this Greek one? Me and you. Is on this jam. We, me, um, did me and you listen to this recently? We haven't done Song of the Week. Oh, we haven't yeah, done we haven't Song of the Week. I, I probably might have shown it to you because that, that album has just been on my brain lately. <laughs> What album? Bro? I think it's um Sorry, it's crazy. Street Talking. Street oh, Street Talking, I yeah. I, I do know that song. Yeah. So it's it says it's song. Slick Rick and Outcast, but I think it's just Slick Rick and Big Boy. I'm not 100% sure on that. Don't quote me, but yeah. But yeah, I feel like sometimes Big Boy doesn't get the credit he deserves for being cuz he was crazy. Like his bars crazy, shit crazy. And like the artistic direction behind Outcast, like it's the two of them. We we don't know. We weren't there when they were in the room. Like we don't know what who did what. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. you they're were, a group were. for a reason. Do you know what I'm saying? 100%. They need to be t- t- considered as a group. Mm-hmm. But in saying all of that, Andre is the person for me that I gravitated to, to towards most because of like the fashion and the yeah the like eccentricity. If that's and the word. flute. Nice. <laughs> the flute. <laughs> The nigga is just hard. The way he talks, bro. His mole on his face. Mm. <laughs> like, like, nigga. Like, you know and what I'm just, saying? Like, I love the fact that he's from the South. Like, he's literally from Atlanta. Like, I, he's like a hood nigga, but like, but not a and funky that's hood beauty, nigga. That's the beauty of Outcast. That's like, I that's love the, Outcast. And, and the, hood, like the hood niggas rate him as well, though. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, like they were doing like, like, Aquemini has songs on that like liberation i don't know if you guys have heard that song. Love, hate, you see that's mm-hmm. not a rap song at liberation, all that's not even a, i wouldn't I even me. even um andre's part of the speaker box the love below that's mm. that double album that his out al- his his album in that album is not really a rap album prototype hey y'all those aren't rap yeah songs. those aren't rap songs hey. you know what i'm saying y'all don't hear me you just want to dance that's a great <laughs> song probably one of my it's favorite really songs sad yeah very sad <laughs> And, uh, but yeah, Outcast are crazy. Uh, Andre's crazy. Outcast as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Outcast. I hear you. But yeah, who would you say, Timo, is your top five? Like my top five. Okay. Okay, I'm not. This is this is no, in no particular yeah, order. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. okay. And I probably left some niggas out. I've yeah. Got, like, Bro, really said top. fantastic, Mr. Okay. Fox. <laughs> as his um say, inspiration. Um, Brent is in there because oh. I really do love Brent. Okay. Um, so do you real? just think he's laying or do you no, actually? No, <laughs> I really like his music. <laughs> do you fuck, what's your favorite Brent album? Um, the, ooh. Because I know mine. And it's I can like say my, song. It's my, my favorite song is Make Love. Okay. Okay. My favorite album is Sonderson by. Okay. Sonder okay. Sun. I'm a Sonder I prefer Sonder to Bring Brent. Sonder I'll back. be honest. No. 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 I feel like I like Sonder, but Brent is just Brent. <laughs> What You Heard Red. by Sonder is a crazy song. Yeah, what you heard. That's not my favourite. Sonda Sun, One Night Only. Brent Fires. That album, that's the first, like, the first solo album. Crazy. And I feel like it's, it's, the, best, it's the best one. It's the Wait, best I, one. I, Sonder's, Sonder's, I feel like there's, I listen to Brent way more than Sonder. Like, yeah, way think more. Think about it. I didn't, I didn't that's even really, say that. like, He's not. Sonder was just one of them shits. I was just like, I knew Brent before I knew Sonder. Yeah, exactly. I was just like, one of them shits I have to listen to because he's in it. Yeah, like, <laughs> I, so Sonda Sun drops. And my brother and sister were banging it, and I heard it. And I was like, "This is crazy!" And started that was like when I first got Spotify Premium, so it was like one of the first albums I like yeah, downloaded. Yeah, and was, you like, listened rinsing. to. And then like, I was like, "Sonda." Then then one, I think on like Spotify Radio, Sonda came, and I was like, "Sonda, that's the and this nigga sounds like Brent Fire. This must be Brent. <laughs> Brent." Yeah. And then I went, and I was like, "Oh, it's a group." It's okay, a group. Cool. And I listened okay, to a couple cool. of songs. Like they got some vibes. They got some vibes, and I feel like. There is a very much. There's a big difference between the Sonder sound and the Brent sound. Yeah, and I, yeah. Think, I think they are both good and different. But I'm. I listen to Brent way more than I listen to Sonder. Mm-hmm. I listen to Brent way more than I listen to Sonder. But the Sonder songs that I listen to just are just top tier. What you heard is crazy. What you heard the is crazy. What you heard and is good. The switch up. Is Mine is my favorite. Is one one night only. Too fast is hard. Too fast. Too fast is ah. Uh, it wasn't my favorite. 
I, I like that it. Mad. It was good. Really, I think I just like the music video. Have you seen the music video? The music video is good. The music video yeah, is hard. I think that's why I love it because there's a lot of songs that I'll listen to it and I'm like, this isn't. And then but I then see the music video, I'm like, Shit. and you see that you see the creative direction. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. what's it for you by Pierre Bourne? I didn't like the song. I fucking love Pierre Bourne. <laughs> oh Pierre my Bourne. god, I love Pierre Bourne, bro. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't like the song. My because my bro showed it to me and I was like, okay. And then I just because I just be watching music videos mm-hmm. and I put that on. I was like. I love this song now. I don't know what it is, but this music video just made me love the song. Okay. Yeah, that one's crazy. Um, Lauren Hill, Brent, Dexter Daps. If you listen to Dexter. Okay, it doesn't you have know, to be like, artists, by the Dexter, way. Yeah, Dexter Daps is artist. I know. I'm saying it doesn't Wait, have to be just artists. Is, is, We're not talking about just music. Next yeah, song. no, you said Fantastic Mr. Fox, bro. No, oh, oh, oh the same question. wait, I'm yeah, talking about <laughs> inspiration. Wait, I thought we were talking about top five artists. Yeah, no, that was oh, a was that? Question. Oh, that's a separate that question. Was a, yeah. That's a, oh, I'm bugging. Are we doing top five artists or top five, like, Yeah, people? top five artists. No, because oh. I remember I, I literally asked the question. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dexter Daps, if, you, if you're into Bashment, mm. you know about him. Um, who... Let me think. Cause it's, it's it's someone I have to like, like I have to love them like in person as well. You know what I mean? I, I have to love their personality. I can't just like their songs. Mm. Bro, you know what I mean? It's an Ray J. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, you go, you go, Ray, and then I'll, I'll think. Okay, about five art, two. my top five artists. Yeah. Charles Gambino, Tyler Creator. Um, that is hard actually. I say Biggie. Ooh. Notorious <laughs> Big. I just I don't think he's a great person. But he's got he you know he's got a hustle mindset, and I like that. Um, and his music fucking slaps. Like he's got he's got better wordplay than Tupac. Yeah, um, I agree. I think he's a better rapper. Like, yeah, he's rap, definitely like, a better rap, rapper. Rap for rap, bar for bar. I think yeah, he's, he's a better rapper than Pac. Um, you know, he cares for his family. Junior Mafia. Um, who's that? That's free. Who else would be in my list? I need to even check my. That's phone. what I'm saying. You know what? Like I'm I have actually, three, four. I'm actually all the how way many have you said, bro? How three, many have you said? Three. I said. Um, no, Laura, how many is Toby? Did he you said say? five. Because I said six. And, oh, said seven. And, I'm about to, and I'm about to add a seventh, Kendrick Lamar. I was gonna I'm say Kendrick. I, I was gonna say Kendrick because. Like a lot, like I was going through a stage. I was just listening to Bear Kendrick, like he's secondary, crazy yeah, eight and nine times. Another, another person who's just evolved his sound and like pushed yeah. his sound mm-hmm. as far as it would go. Yeah. I'd yeah. say Kendrick. Uh, 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 some Summer Walker's in there somewhere, but she's not top five. Crazy. I do love Summer Walker so much. I like Q-Tip. I fuck oh, with Q-Tip heavy. Mm-hmm. I fuck with Q-Tip Tribe heavy. Is crazy. Yeah. Tribe. Um. That's number. That's four. I got one more. This is not. This is probably isn't even my top five. But exactly. This is just what came to mind. Um, mm. Number five, I'd say like. This is hard. This is really hard. I think Pharrell. I, you said Pharrell though already. Yeah. Oh yeah, Kanye West. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, Kanye West. Those two I five. I'm trying not. I was trying not to say the ones you said though. Okay. But even though I said Tyler, I would be so real though. You know how you're saying is this artist or inspiration? Mm-hmm. For me, the only difference is that I would take, uh, like it'd be everyone I've just said in, in terms of inspiration, and then take out Lauren Hill and substitute uh, fucking Garnish you know, because of his influence. Like, yeah. yeah. Okay. Of the, Atlanta is one of my yeah. favorite TV shows. Atlanta is dope. Mm-hmm. Did you see the new so season? Good. Yeah. What do you think so of it? Good. So I haven't watched Atlanta. Mm. I fucking love Atlanta so much. It's so good. It I think, so good. I think to be honest, yeah, the new season was good, but I think because I had to wait for so long to get for it to come out, I just kind of like, I don't want it anymore. So Bro. I was watching it passively until I got Disney Plus and then I just watched it properly and was like, okay, this is hard. I pirated it. Sorry, Charlie's going to be there. Mm. <laughs> sorry, Donald. I sorry, pirated that Donald. shit. Season four is out, you know? Already? Yes, bro. I'm pretty sure. I might be bugging. Don't quote and me you, again. Oh, I did hear. Wait, hold look on. It up, fair, look it up. I did hear that it was coming out like really relatively soon. I think it came out like two weeks ago. I'll be so oh, real. Shit. I think it came out like two weeks ago. But that shit's fine. Atlanta's hard. Charles Gambino is also somebody with that kind of like. I don't want to put a limiter limit on myself. Um, mindset. And that's that's how I want to be, bro. I yeah. want to be like. I everything. think that. I want to do whatever it is. I want yeah, I think that also comes under like I don't know if you can relate to this, but just 
being a weird black kid. Yeah, yeah, can I relate to that. You could probably relate 100, to that. Look at this nigga's hair and his, and his chain. But that's the, my shit. Bro. I feel like relating to that, and I that's why, because I, I was telling you the other day that Childish Gambino was like my gateway, and because he was always talking about like, oh, I don't always feel like I have a place in the black yeah. community because of this, this and that's that. Real. That's real. Mm-hmm. And that was that what drew me that's towards so him mm-hmm. and Tyler the Creator too. That's so mm-hmm. real. And that's, I mean, as a great segue, is is why I wanted to start a collective. Mm. Because mm-hmm. it's just like, there's a lot of black kids that just aren't doing what other black kids are doing. Yeah. And even if they are, you need to, there, there's not a lot of them who are proud of it, proud yeah. of their shit. Like, and really have a space to just do yeah. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I feel like, in the US, you know, like the whole thing of Odd Future, that was like, in LA, that was the like, gateway, you know the, yeah. like mm. every, the community. Girl, every nigga was part of Odd Future, mm-hmm. every black, every alternative black kid just had a place to be. Like, Maybe, I mean, you do. Mm-hmm. Look at it, you can say that. That the, the group is mm-hmm. huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The group yeah, is huge. Even if you see the people that are like Narkel, Jasper. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Niggas that weren't doing music, weren't doing like, weren't even doing nothing. Just what was Jasper really doing? What was Jasper? He had one verse on flipping Odie. Odie that's it. <laughs> Choco. Like that nigga was DJing kinda back so, there. Like now that nigga's on, t- on TV. Yeah, he's, he's got a show. show. He's got yeah. a show mm-hmm. out. Yeah. And then even Odd Future led, gave the space for the internet as exactly. well. And people like Steve Lacey and, and Frank, to have a platform. And like so many people. And just people being black. But not what the not the stereotype, you, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Not, not putting a limit, person, limit like, on what I can do. Especially like being from like Croydon, but then being in like a, a boarding school with a bunch of white kids mm-hmm. and then going mm. back to Niger. Just mm. being, wait, was like, your boarding school in Croydon? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> and being like, there are bands Croydon though. Mm-hmm. It's hella oh, like okay. RAA. Um, I don't know why we're doing this, but uh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, RAA, Royal Russell, mm-hmm. Wick Gifts. Um, mm-hmm. There's bad private boarding schools, and I don't know why, but there's just Heller in South London. I think it's just space. <laughs> space facts, 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 <laughs> literally. But um, yeah, I just felt like I wasn't always comfortable just being a black kid, that mm. was in and it was just like I feel like there is no real one group or place in the UK that is like. Oh, that's what the old black kids do. I mean, yeah. I don't want to just—I don't want to just be the old black kids. But yeah. You know what I mean, like because no they space. even you have, have to, the you have because, to say old because it's so small. Yeah, yeah, you have to say old, but it shouldn't be old. Yeah. It's just black, black yeah, kids. black kids. Yeah, that words, into music, like, into this, into that, and not just it. old, like yeah, come nah. on. Like, yeah, that's that. That was like because then you're creating its own stereotype. Yeah, like, on its like, own. Yeah, yo, by saying I don't want to create stereotypes, I'm gonna make my own stereotype. This is just a place for you to express yourself and be exactly. you in it. Chill, like. That's, that, that's, that's, like, that was my motivation. You're comfortable. 100%. Yeah. Song of the week? Sick. Yeah, Should song, do our of, song week, of the week. Yeah. We forgot to... Did we do this last week? No, we, yeah, did, we, we did, we did. We, we, did, did, we, we didn't did, do what we did. we're doing there. We didn't... Okay, so there's a new sec- segment that we have. I'm going to say it so I don't forget. Yeah. <laughs> um, that we were supposed to do last episode that I forgot. But um, after song of the week, we have a thing called what we've been doing. So we just talk about... I'll get into that after song of the day. So, what would you say your song of the day is, Tima? One of you guys can go first. I'll, I'll let um the guest go first. Okay, okay, cool. I'm gonna plug my nigga Super Slums. A uh, song called Stop and Search. It's like some punk shit, but he like raps. Mm-hmm. But like he raps weird. It's crazy. It's fire. It's mm-hmm. called Stop and Search. Suko Slums. So Suko Space Slums. Where can Stop, they listen to that? Stop N like instead of and uh-huh. search all caps. Listen to it on anywhere where you consume music. Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, you know what I'm saying? Anywhere yeah. you want to get it. But you can move mm-hmm. it closer to the mat, though. Uh, yeah. Anywhere where you want to get it, you can get it. Word. Tima? Okay, my song of the day is Watch Them by Ding Dong. And I, the thing is with this song, it just came on random, randomly. I was like, oh, shit, this is like a new song I haven't heard. Mm. And it, the message really spoke to me. And he was talking about how... He doesn't want certain people to rate him because they don't deserve to rate him. Like, do you know when people want everyone to like them? Some people you yeah. don't even they don't even deserve to like you I because they're just that is main character just, syndrome. Like, that. <laughs> that's the delu- main you know character I mean? delusion. They're just waste men. Like, I don't want these people to rate me because you don't even deserve to rate me anyway. Mm. Per. <laughs> yeah, that's that's his message. So that's why the song of the week. Cool. Me. Um, my song of the week. You guys already know because very. So the other day I was with Toby. We were extremely um we just had a couple of scooby snacks um um, and we were just looking at listening to music and then we just saw this one kiddie beat song dip 
Kenny Mason. Kenny Mason. Why do I keep saying Kenny Beats? Kenny, Kenny Beats is crazy. Dude. Kenny Beats is crazy. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> he's one of the two white people I look up to. <laughs> he's, the, he's, the other, he's the other guy. George Michael. Word. Fast. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Dip by Kenny Mason. That song was flipping hard. The music video is... It's one of those. I feel like if I didn't watch the music video, I wouldn't like it as yeah, much as it I did. Yeah, it hit because of the, the music video. Yeah, yeah, I showed Tima the other day, and we watched it like four, three, times. Three, four times. I'm like, you have to relate that. We watched it like four times back <laughs> to back to back to back. It's a vibe, 100. Thirty right on a hit. After this, after this, we'll have a celebration and we'll play that. Storytelling is really good. I really like storytelling and music. He really, I like it a lot, but it really flowed. It's kind of sad. What'd you say? Said I really like it, but I don't do it. Oh, okay, okay. Like okay. What? Flo- story, story, okay. story telling. Yeah. I have one song that's like a cohesive story. Story. Mm-hmm. And it's mm. like, it's cool. Go listen to it a long time. But this, the actual song isn't a story. It's just the music video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. The actual song yeah, okay, yeah. Video. But yeah, um, that's my song, Dip by Kenny Mason. Check it oh, out. Man. It's so fire. What's the music video? I'll let you put it in the description of the YouTube video. Watch Facts. it. Plug in Kenny Mason plug like he needs us. <laughs> 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 I'll put your boy in the in the description yeah. too. Though. You plug everyone. You check plug, that. plug Zuko Slums. Zuko. Real talk. And he's got a show. If you are if you live in London and you wanna meet more alternative black kids like like myself, and you guys should come to if you're not doing anything, October twelfth, Borough. Uh you go buy the tickets now, they're like six pounds, seven pounds, that's cool. It's a bunch of shit, like a bunch of niggas DJing and Zuko's performing and I'll be there. And, yeah, what? And, well, and I'll be there yeah, too. Facts. I'll be I'm there up. too. <laughs> no. No, pull up for real, literally. If you're free. But yeah, that's it. That's what I got to say about that. Word, 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 word. So what's this segment? What, so the next segment, do? okay, so, so what we've been doing, it's a new so thing that we added yeah, for season, for season two. two. It's so. called what we do. What have we been doing? So, any so essentially, any like mu- anything we've so been, like anything been, been doing. Yeah. So let's say I've been reading a book, okay. playing a Talk game, listening to an album, mm-hmm. okay. watch a, f- a film that I've watched recently, or like just something you, uh, you've been working on lately. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll go. To, we'll do the same order. You can start, Toby. Okay. So, cool. uh, so before you know, I, I was saying I was on the fence about the uh, EP. Yeah. When I decided. I was going to release it. I wanted to do a short film to go with it. Okay. Um, short film. I probably At some point, I will actually do it, but circumstances didn't allow me to execute it the way I wanted to. Mm. But um, it's it was going to be about the end of summer. That's what I'll say for right now. Cool. But, um, yeah, so I wanted to do a short film, so I started watching a fuck ton of short films. And Have I you saw... seen Clapping for the Wrong Reasons by Charles Gambino? It's... No, 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 no. Actually, I haven't, but I knew the name. You, we'll watch I've... it. We'll watch yeah. it later. Watch it's it later. Just... It's just I I watched this one. Oh my god! Am I gonna really forget the name when it matters the most? That's crazy. Um, I think fi- I'll find it at some point. Cool. But it's it's directed crazy... by the guy who did Atlanta, as well. Oh, um, Hero Morai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he's yeah. crazy. Yeah, he's, he's cool. Crazy. But yeah, I watched a bunch of short films, and I watched a bunch of films, and I started paying t- real close attention to like color palettes, mm. and I watched American Beauty for the first time. Okay. Great film. The yeah. color palette is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. Another film that has a nice color palette. It just looks like a, it sounds like I'm dick riding Charles Gambino right now. He does dick ride. Charles I don't Charles dick ride Charles Gambino. Gambino. I actually don't dick ride Charles <laughs> Gambino. <laughs> I don't dick ride Charles Gambino. You know, I'm not even gonna say the film now. Anyway, say it. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Nah, um, Guava Island has a nice color palette. I've never yeah, actually yeah, seen Guava Island. It's sexy. Ray, Ray's so told me about this before. So this day I haven't seen Guava Island. And I'm mentioning it. Yeah, the yeah, one with yeah, Rihanna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a musical, though. It's mm-hmm. like a, apparently it's, it's like not a really, musical. Someone told me it feels like a really long music video. That's what they said. Oh, there are, there is uh, like songs like from so you know his summer pack. So feels like summer and summertime madness. So those feels are feels like summer is a great. It's beautiful. Song. It's yeah. a really good yeah. song. Yeah. It's a really good song. And unpopular opinion. I didn't like This Is America as much as Nick. I did not like This Is America. I didn't like This Is America. It's not something I have on my playlist. You know what you I mean? Know? Like, and niggas were like, but Toby, did you understand that message? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's, it's, I got it. Yeah. Like, you know what like I, mean? I wouldn't it's get it. A, it's more of a political you know statement. Why, like, yeah. I, uh, why would you say that I wouldn't get it? You're saying it like, bro. Like, the political statement was there, but it's just that I wouldn't have it. I would yeah. listen to it every day. I'm not saying it's a bad song. Like, when I listened to it the day it came out, and I was just... I was everyone, everyone knew me as a Charles Gabino guy at that time. This was like I was. When did this come out? What year did this song come out? Like Twenty eighth. Yeah. Twenty eighteen. I'm gonna say sometimes. take a wild guess and say I was sixteen or fifteen. Maybe I was in year like year nine, year ten. I think year nine, year ten. Yeah, so maybe I was 15, like fifteen. Yeah, fifteen. And it came out, and I saw it. I was like, this is alright. This is okay. Like whatever. Like I've he, he's got better songs. And then all of a sudden, like 
everybody was just singing it. I was like, oh, so everyone. I didn't think it was even catchy. Like it did what it needed. It gave what it needed to give. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it did. It did yeah, mm-hmm. but yeah. like as as far as a song with like replay value. No. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I wasn't moved, bro. Like, the only thing I really like is the guitar at the beginning. Nah, what I like are the Block Boy ad libs. Let me tell you mm. something. We need to bring back that little era where Block Boy was just doing everybody's ad libs for no reason. What, like? Block Boy JB, as in the nigga from Shoot, the nigga from Look Alive. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, oh, for a little minute. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Them, yeah. It was around the same time where Tafe Keith was producing mm-hmm, everything. Mm-hmm. Blockway was just there doing like, why? It was crazy. Okay. Oh, bring that back. Bring that back. We want that. We want Something that. that Steve of... Lacey. Sorry, sorry. Last question before Go we're on. talking about influences and like niggas that fuck with in music. Steve, Steve Lacey, Lacey has got to be on that list. Okay. okay. He's cool. such a big influence. Yeah. Steve on. Lacey, bro. I'm, the music that, if you guys don't know, I do kind of make music too. I make that if you've heard my music and you fuck with it, I made it on my phone. So that's another thing to be impressed about. If you listen to it and you think it's shit, then that's embarrassing. But. Anyways, um, <laughs> you were saying something, Ray. Um, yeah, I cut you off. I'm sorry. What was I saying? Yeah. Oh, saying? I was saying that um, another thing that got brought back in terms because you were talking about ad libs, Gangster mm-hmm. Girls. Oh, DJ shit. Drama okay. uh, on um, on, call me if you get oh, lost. That album is mm. The bars. That yeah, he I can't lie. When spitting. when it came out, yeah. I was playing a lot of PlayStation. I was playing a lot of like GTA and shit. Cool, yeah. Cool, me and, I listened to that album like four, five, six, seven. Eight. Yeah, I listened to it like six, <laughs> like seven times, <laughs> like back to back. I just to be back, at work, back, yeah. Back, back, back. I just be at work. I just be like, oh, let me just listen to. You know what? Yeah. Listen to over and over again. I was a Tyler Stan, yeah. And call me if you get lost, and Donda. Something else all dropped kind of. Around uh, yeah. Time. Okay. Yeah. Was it Drake? I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't listen to any, any of them. I they did, I I I remember I downloaded I was so gassed they dropped, but like my was body certified lover boy for my Drake. body wasn't really ready to consume that, that much, much music. Fire. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's like my body was I was comprehending all this. Like all which this, one am I gonna listen to first? You know I mean? <laughs> like, it was actually overwhelming. Like especially Donda because of how like the build up yeah. and it was actually too much. Donda for me. was such I a big build up. Like, I actually couldn't bring myself to really listen to it. So it eventually after a long time, I then went back. And because mm-hmm. I listened to uh, Call Me If You Get Lost, like, you know, like, the first listen, you know. But I, you, that's not how you really Yeah, that's not like, how you really listen, listen to love, you love gotta, the music. You've got to go over it a couple mm-hmm. times. Yeah. And like, you know, I like this song more. Yeah, let, me exactly. just, yeah. let me add this to my playlist. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like, you know what I mean? you really got to live gotta and breathe feel it. feel it out. Yeah. <laughs> so I hadn't done that for ages. And then I went back and I was like, okay, guys, yeah. I understand the hype. Mm-hmm. Um, the year, all those Grammys, yeah, it makes sense. Because mm-hmm. that shit was crazy. Yeah, Call Me Get Lost Massa is crazy. is one of the best verses I think he's ever written. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. The beat What was your favourite song on the album? What's that one called? Wilshire? Wilshire, Wilshire. I was going to say Wilshire. that. Wilshire. Yeah. It's just like yeah. eight minutes of him yeah. just going over that yeah. loop. That, those I like, drums are crazy. Oh. I also like Run It Up. I like Run It Up a okay. lot. Okay. I don't like Cheezo Touchdown. Cheezo Touchdown. I wouldn't listen to that every day. Run It Up. I don't listen to it every day, yeah, but when I, I listen, do listen to it, I'm I like, oh, this, like, this is hard. I find Cheezo Touchdown's voice annoying. Mm. Mm. Like, it's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you say Rise? Did you say Rise when I rise to the top? Have you said that? No. Rise for, um, you didn't on... say that. Oh, you didn't? Oh, no? okay. Mm. I said I said we'll share Massa. Yeah, I like Raz though. And uh, Hot Wind Blows, the the okay. Wayne verse. Yeah. The Wayne verse. Hot Wind Blows is good. Excuse me, pardon me. Oh. <laughs> Hot Wind Blows is cool. Is no, I love um what's it called? I just got some fresh duck colors with the glitter. What's that? What's it? Um. Ju- ju- juggernaut, juggernaut, juggernaut. Yeah, juggernaut. What yeah. it is? It's that nigga T. Nigga it in, riding it. Bro, I love it when you start rapping. That's I like favorite. I like Juggernaut. Juggernaut's hard. You want to get hype. That's a hype yeah. song. Yeah. Facts, 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 I like facts, Sugar because that's just my type of music. I like Juggernaut because <laughs> like... It's fuck there. It's I like... Um, yeah, who's it? It's Car- uh, what's it? Is it Uzi or Carti who's on Juggernaut? Uzi. Yeah, I like Uzi's part in Juggernaut. I fucking love I like Little Uzi Vert. Let me let me. I, I had to really pronounce all of those syllables. Little Uzi Vert. So you really knew not even li- Not even Uzi. Just Little I Uzi Vert. I fucking love... Little, Little Uzi, Uzi Bird. Love is a bit strong. Bro, no, no. first of shuffle is my ringtone, bro. Listen, listen. First of shuffle is my ringtone. Hey, 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 h
His music's hard. Wait, like, do you like music? I like as, as actually as a person. Person, a bit person, he's a bit weird. Okay. Like but Brooklyn his Infinity is Stone in his head. Exactly. Like that's just weird. Like why are you doing that for? Nigga, why don't you have a stone in your head? <laughs> why? <laughs> I mean, why don't listen, I? Listen, no, real talk, no. Real talk, no. Why not? Because I can die. What? No, it didn't. Yes, bro, it's just no, a... but he can die. <laughs> it's dangerous. <laughs> you hey, don't care for your life. Niggas die every day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, I nah, don't know what you're saying. I feel like Uzi is so hard, man. I'm not like uh, the biggest Uzi fan, but I think he's cold. I think he's so. Cold. I like people. Cable Cart is weird as well sometimes. Oh, I love Carti so much. No, Speaking but, of Carti, no, 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 uh, no, sometimes they it? give off. No, sometimes they giving off giving off this sort of devilish. Oh yeah, you no, Carti. I mean, that's a bit yeah, weird. Yeah, no, Carti, I can't can stay with that. Carti, <laughs> Carti, I like Carti. I listen to Carti, but like whenever he says some devilish shit, I need to <laughs> like, turn it off. It when he turns us some devilish shit, that's a little easier as well. Sometimes. Oh yeah, sorry, the weekend is up there for me as well. Sorry. But Bro. woke up like this. <laughs> Carti and Uzi. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Woke up to the niggas sucking like me. Hey, yeah, woke he's up crazy. To the niggas looking I like think Carti is that's crazy. That's dirty. Because, again, he's one of the niggas that's been able to change the sound album to album to album. And Whole Lot of Red got leaked. Remember that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole shit got leaked. But I, I know what that first album sounded like. It's nothing like what the we way, got. Yeah, you know what we got, yeah. Ch- and then with the new Whole Lot of Red, he literally changed the sound of trap music. Oh. Really? Like, think about it. This new shit, the Rage Beat shit, mm-hmm. that was really the first time we'd heard it. I don't really like a whole lot of Red, I'll be real. Nah, you, let me tell you something, it's, yeah? it's because of what got, it's because it got leaked and then he didn't and put he out what he was meant to. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. But yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, that, the power to do that and still put out something that had as much impact as it had, mm. it's crazy. And it wasn't even the first, the main thing that he wanted to do. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and it was yeah. something completely, and that shit's crazy. Like, I, I fuck know. with that. Bro, like, 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 stop breathing, new tank, Jump out the house, Teen X, that album's got hits. Sky, I tell my boy girl around like 10 bloods for me. You tell me that was a vibe. Yeah, that song's a vibe. You tell me that was a vibe. I take my shirt off and all the whole stuff. Let me re listen to it. Let me re listen to the album. But I don't know. Let me re listen to it. I think you guys just have to consume it again. Like, you gotta sit with it. If I turn it to a Carty fan, yeah, I'm sorry. Bro, if you turn it to a Carty fans are funny. No, actually let that shit breathe because when you out, once you deep it and then you're out and you hear it in the right setting, mm. crazy. Word, word, word. I heard word, word. when I saw him live, crazy. Did mm. you? Now you get crushed. Like, um, okay, we're getting to like no, an the, hour I'm, and a half. I'm crushing. <laughs> oh I'm we're getting crushing. to like an hour and a half. You're doing, oh yeah, yeah. Let's do, um, Timo, what have you been doing? Oh, and then, oh. Yeah. I'm not going to talk, day. to be honest, we're going to cut this out right now. Um, I'm not going to talk about the chair because that's just long. The chair, you've been making a chair? Oh, yeah, I'm designing a chair. What kind of chair? Basically, okay, I'll just say it. Basically, my idea for this chair is going to be like a school chair but it's going to be modular so you can like build it yourself so modular, i'm going to have like, like different different parts different components of different like i would say like colors different patterns and then you can like customize it for your own school she- school seat Bro, so in class let me talk to you. you'll customize your chair um, you can even put like feet on the bottom you can cut like yeah that's let just my idea yeah. because i want to do yeah <clears throat> I don't know, maybe you want to cut this out, maybe you don't. <laughs> oh, say no more, say no more. This, okay. this is, this is, I'm talking yeah, to you now. Okay, okay yeah. say no more. I talk really, about after, so I don't, uh, yeah, yeah, talk about after, talk about after. Okay, okay. we got to talk about that. Okay, cool, that, cool. okay, that. I remember. Oh, yeah, so, oh, yeah, you're not wishing Lord of the Rings as well, me and Ray. Yeah, so. <laughs> Yo, Lord of the Rings goes too, Ray. <laughs> 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 I can't lie, I can't lie. It lie. does, because uh, Ray, Ray, I feel like Ray thought it was a bit weird. No, 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 okay, let me. And then I was like, you know, we should watch it. Let me speak for my, let me speak for my, okay, yeah, sorry, speak for Oh, sorry, okay, sorry. so I've I'm not like a fantasy guy. Like I'm not into like Harry Potter and like oh. all that shit. I'm nah, I'm not. That's like, that's I'm, that's I'm me. I try like, I try I try force him and stuff, but mm. we get that. We're getting that soon. I'm not into like Harry Potter and shit. So like, I just never really watched like Lord of the Rings or anything like that. So one day I was like, fuck it, let me watch something new, and I put on Lord of the Rings. And yeah, it was calm. Like it was, it was, it was, <laughs> it was good. It's, it's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> I can't lie though. The way that like there's, there's some like I don't know why is everybody really so. If it's not really weird and dark and like sinister, it's always really happy and like mm. jolly. Like I don't know. Just like I don't know. You this know is pro- what? This is probably how people who because I'm like I was a Star Wars guy. I'm a Star Wars guy. That's probably how people who have never seen Star Wars before think of Star Wars like. It's kind of corny, like. It, but Lord mm, of the Rings is good. It's, it's not Lord corny. Of the Rings is good. I don't think it's really that corny. It is what it is. Like, it's like, a fucking fantasy, like <laughs> fiction. Do you know what the magical? Think, the reason Lord of the Rings is so lit is because, like, 
Niggas, that, that film is long as fuck. I, for three, it, four it hours. It was so short. Mm. Like, it's so engaging. Like, keeping mm-hmm. niggas engaged for that long. Yeah. Mm. On that. Like, I wasn't... When I sat down to watch that shit, I wasn't really expecting to be like... Because I watched that, like, relatively old. Like, I watched it, like, a couple, like maybe four years ago. Oh, like, okay. I wasn't, like, I wasn't, like, a youngin. And yeah. I'd never seen it before. First. I mean, so I just it's sat, earlier than me. Yeah. <laughs> But like, I just sat down on some shit like my brother and sister were like, he's never seen Lord of the Rings, bro. Mm. They were geeked. They were like, bro, you got to watch. I was like, yeah. y'all niggas are bugging. Okay, like, let's watch Lord of the mm-hmm. Rings. Okay, like, I bet it'll be cool, I guess. Nigga, Lego last shooting and shit. Niggas was just fighting. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, was, it was just, it was it just was, lit. It was, it was lit. just lit, it was bro. Lit. I was just there. I was gassed up. Like, <laughs> I think for me, it was more like, the reason I, I don't think I watched it was like, I watched The Hobbit when I was younger and I saw that shit and it was boring as hell. And so I was like, yeah, maybe this isn't for me. Mm. Like, every time I tried to get into it, I was just like, this is boring. Maybe I was like, I had a two-year-old attention span. Mm. So that might have been like, When you watch though. things now, like, remember we were saying, like, you're re-watching, like, I'm re-watching movies, like, when I was when I was watching it like I was mad, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I'm just watching it. I'm just you know watching I mean? it. You were. But now I'm really understanding. I'm really, watching, yeah. I'm really understanding the politics in the movie you, you as did. well. Like, 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 yeah. like, yeah. like, this is sick. Like. I've been re watching <laughs> Yeah, I've been rewatching. I said on the last episode, I've been rewatching a lot of stuff that I haven't, I haven't seen in years, and you know, actually understanding mm-hmm. what is happening on the scene mm-hmm. in the plot. And also, stuff. the thing with Lord of the Rings like, is, is there's a lot of depth. Like, there's a lot of different characters. Is it like it's given? It's given. What do you call it? Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. yeah. I want to do. I want to play Dungeons and Dragons. If you play Dungeons and Dragons, shout me because I really want to play. I have the really? dice. Trying to get games. We'll play. We'll play. Yeah. We'll play because. I have I some know, cool Dungeons and Dragons. There's, there's a lot. No there's a lot to unpack from enough. Lord of the Rings. There's so many different characters to love, to hate. You follow like, Game of Thrones? I don't watch it, you know. Mm. But my friend's been trying to get me on for so long, but I really should watch it. It mm. seems really good, and I probably would love it. Shit. <laughs> yeah, it looks fire. <laughs> but yeah, man. The Hobbit. Yeah. So yeah. me, I've been up to like, I've been making shirts and stuff. Um, mm-hmm. This is kind of like I don't even know if I really want to be talking about it on the podcast because I'm I, I don't it's just me making it the handmade shirts, um, and I don't want the demand to like overtake me because I'm only making like <laughs> one a week or mm-hmm. something. Um, but yeah, I'm making shirts, selling them. I sold my first one, um, and I'm shipping it on Friday. Yo, deep, how crazy that's gonna go in like a couple years when we've learned shit. Because mm-hmm. right. it's like, yo, this is a shirt hand painted. Ah, from the rain. Like, Gamma hey, the rain. Like, Gamma the rain. <laughs> bro, like, hey, you can't buy this, bro. You can't hand get this nowhere, like. One of one, one of one, one of one, one bro. Of one. Like, well, nah. In like 30 years, though, we talk about, mm-hmm. yo, I got the very first t shirt. Made by Gamma the Ray, but yeah, man, I'm making t shirts. If you know my socials, shout me if you want. Yeah, 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 and then a few (laughs) years. Hold on to that's an asset, Yeah, I don't even have a name. I just made a cool shirt and sold it. Mm -hmm. That's how it starts. You know what I mean? Word, word. (laughs) Bro, you think Supreme was Supreme? Yeah, Yeah. it's probably like Redbox. (laughs) Redbox logo (laughs) company. (laughs) Redbox company. (laughs) No. <laughs> Before they came up with the name, mm. <laughs> but yeah, I said Redbox, you know, <laughs> Redbox Company. Well, what else do we have on the? Oh, we, this is too long anyway. Part. Um, I think we're done. Yeah, That's we all we have done. for today's episode. <laughs> right. Um, all right, thank you guys. Yeah, let's give a look around of applause <laughs> for my boy Toby, Toby the, the Freak. Freak. He isn't really a freak. No, but maybe he is. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Fez. Fair enough. Man. But yeah, man. Thank um, you for listening. Thank you for listening. Tune I've in been, next week. Tune in next week. I've been Tima. And I've been Ray. I mean, I've, oh. I've been Ray. <laughs> and I've been Tima. <laughs> we do this every week, don't worry. We do this every week. Um, but yeah, thank but yeah. you for listening. Anything you, you want to shout out before we stream my music, Toby the Freak on all platforms. Mm-hmm, go buy a pair of jeans from my boy Otter. That's Cross. And mm-hmm. my girl Eve. Uh, not to cross on Instagram. Go stream Zuko Slums. Cause right, that right, song right, right, Stop right, and Search right. is crazy. Yeah. Uh, that's all I really gotta say. Stay um, tuned in that. Give yeah. me two years, you're gonna see. Look out so, for um NW WNIL. Give the, us three years, WNIL. Look, look out for WNIL. Just just remember that. WNIL. We won't, t- we won't tell you what it is, but just look out for that. Look out for that.
Mm-hmm. Um, give us five stars on Spotify. Follow right. our Instagram, the dot bedroom dot project. For um, subscribe to our YouTube channel, the bedroom project podcast. Subscribe. Um, uh, if you're watching we'll this on videos. YouTube, yeah, yeah. If you're watching this video, you're already there's a here. link. There's a link of for yeah. Spotify in the description. There's all the links for everything's yeah. in the description. Yeah, cool. Um, but yeah, check us out. Peace and love, love, love and, peace, and peace, people. Take care and bye.